interesting. Uh. Team, am I bringing for the first fight? If it is Silk Current as the first fight, that means it's gonna be Paralyzed Zero SP. Maybe I'll just bring in Claire. What's the current weaknesses? damage or more to hit the debris or whatever you call it. Assuming the first one is the current. A bit weird that it's not the mermaids first, so I can't build up my SP early. Question mark? Ting Tang, I think, over the rest of the options because having his passive is huge. Besides Ting Tang, who else? Welcome to the waiting room. Three more minutes. In the meantime, I'm just theorizing who I want to use in my final team. Probably slap in Dichi, I guess.
Dici sans sans shower. Any other super strong units I wanna bring? WVO, no way I don't bring you. And who's gonna be the last of the six here? Oh, Rabbit Heath. Most likely this team comp should be enough for all of them. Ishmael Reindeer Ishmael <sighs> One more minute <sighs> I think first things first, we have to check out the banners. Have to see what is the actual requirements of the railway. Oh. Well, it's 11. Let me in. It's 1 a.m. here. Uh, it's like 11 a.m. here. So I just woke up early to do my railway run. Warning, warning, Len Ahoy. Choose joy at the end of this long journey was coming. Aww. I don't want you to preclude any seafaring options. Just rush to the window. Back in my sailor days, I can say it means I would spend at least 3 years in the treacherous sea. <laughs> oh. Okay. Run, okay. Oh, we transform into the bus. Okay. Bus ball don't have turn signals. Oh yeah, we have to dress up Heathcliff. T Corp District 20. Takes your colors away. Going through the back streets instead of heading to the nest. Companies who will. Selecting this path was also part of accommodating the company's requests. Another volatility. First were the mirror dungeons, then excavation, so it's gotta be Refraction Railway. Let's go. Since the last one was called line 2, this one's gonna be line 3. 
going through the refraction railway takes a lot out of me too. It takes a lot out of everyone. Especially the last one. Copious amount of rewards. That the abnos we battle in are not the same ones that exist in the world we live in. Perfect for practice. Let's get going then. Okay, yep, just a simple dialogue with Faust. Oh, I love the gameplay, it's canon shit. So good. Don't mind me, let me pump my modules. Oh, wrong one. Refraction railway number three. Let me enter. Okay, let me change my team card to team number one here. Railway. Essence, rabbit, uh, creepy, India, W, Dichi, W, okay. uh, Rhino, Nuclear. Sh eh, shoot this? Question mark? No, I think Mola is better. Wait, what's shoot this passive? I actually can't remember this song. Shoot this passive is... Yeah, no, it's not good enough. Uh, I think this one's better. Uh, we can use uh, the other Master Association as well. Not too important. G-Corp on the bench. Never ever going to use you. Ting Tang on the bench for the passive. This looks like the pretty decent Unga Bunga comp. Uh, any character that I might want to bring in. Am I forgetting someone? No, I think this is going to be my Unga Bunga comp. So just bring in. Oh, let's uh, do the Eagles. Helico. Sun Shower plus Dimension Shredder. Yeah. Dolly Sack. Yeah, that's the only one I need. Other Blossom. Ration. Match, the rest I don't really care. And you is pending the uh, For you, Pursuance. Pursuance, regret, why not? And then you doesn't really matter what I take on you. You can stem. Last one is legitimate main. In case I ever use you, but I won't be using you. Alright, let's go. Sunshine. Let's do this. Okay, first one is not silk current. Can I check where the banners are? Oh, okay, no, the banner is actually just two of them. There are no other banners. So there are no other conditionals. It's once again another speedrun railway. Obtained by clearing terminus with 100 or less turns. So pretty standard. Obtained by clearing, okay, same as always, blah blah blah, okay. There could be future uh, banners or something like that. Uh, what monster is this? I actually don't recognize this monster. Metal cogwheel, something heavy and massive. This one I don't know. Uh, for a don't know one, let's bring Claire, Gucci, W. I'm doing the other, something like this should work out. Alright, first monster of the railway, let's take a look. Oh, okay, yeah, this makes more sense. We just need to kill a bunch of ads. I believe they are weak to piercing and pride, so... Not too bad of a team from that I brought in this one. What about their blundings? Ah, they are fine. Turn one quick suppression, love to see. Oh, 
지하니까 메피가 배고파했어. 잘 됐다. 그렇지? Oh, yeah. I cannot order this one. Otherwise, I'll waste a few turns here. Well, mids don't really have any special mechanic. They are just uh, they're just sinking appliers, and then they are weak to piercing and pride. So that's the only two that you really bring. You can also bring wrath. Wrath is also really good. So give clip is very very good option for this fight. They have really high point power move. Uh, don't really have an ego to fight that. This is just our sanity. Our sanity is really not good right now. Struggling. It's because I want my Mola Otis to be on the bench so that I can give plus one tremor count gain to my Nisan rather than bring uh, the Otis. I guess for the first day, it's better to bring things back. And all the pieces that you have, AUVs. Ah, I guess that the shoot Otis is actually really good here for the first part then. If you wanted to bring that shoot Otis. Okay, let's... Split the 
Şimdi maşa inlandı. Hazır sen de değil de I think only reindeer is at 1270. Should be fine, man. We can work with that. We have a few 45 SPs already. Can't wait to see Gopsy unstagger themselves. Oh boy. I hope that's not the case. Love to hear the gong. Oh, alright. It's a uh, silk current whale. Silk current. I think I have this page open in my Firefox. Give me a moment. Silk current is weak to piercing, weak to pride, weak to envy. Okay. So, weak to pride, weak to envy. Uh, ideally, I bring you. And does he resist blunt? He does resist blunt. What about Ninclair? Ninclair is fully resisted, so actually not that much damage output compared to the rest. Uh, Shank? Shank's not very good here. Piercing is good though. Uh, grippy lah, Grippy. We can use Grippy here. We can use Dichi cause Envy. Pride. Actually, it doesn't really matter. We break their body parts anyway, so... I'll just bring my Unga Bunga team, I think. Probably gonna be you, you... Uh, Sun Shower? There is AoE here. We can AoE him, so it might be a good option to bring. But Reindeer is better single target to break his head so that he can start dying faster. So maybe it's a bit better to bring you. But then again, you are triple pierce, so it's probably better to bring you. I think DT goes out maybe for Reindeer. Because Reindeer has Wrath damage, which is resisted. Ugh. Okay, just bring DT. DT can take a few hits. This guy does mostly blunt that if I remember correctly. It's not? Or is it this followed by the other one? Followed by Silk Current. I could have sworn that was Silk Current. Hmm. Okay, well anyway. Just win right here, should be good enough. Double check. Sure. Jungwa. Starting up with another wave battle. Interesting. The enemies aren't very tanky compared to the previous railways. Which is interesting. I guess they're trying to make it accessible to new players. Or maybe it's too early to tell. Wait until we get to the later stages, so it'll be a, bit, a little bit harder, maybe. Okay, win rate is not great here. Uh, this should kill this. We have no tremor count, but this should still kill this. 12 to 21. This should kill. This one can win this. Can win this. I mean, we need to clash here. We need some SP. Then you can just shoot that body here with that. Okay, that kills. I don't know if I can't get out of here. Do we have AoE? We don't. 32, 48. This one will confirm the kill. 34, 42, 32. That should confirm the kill as well. Oh, 
Şimdi maşayın mı da? All right, yeah, it's still current. So, okay, like, I understand why they put still current at the second fight, so that we have time to build up before we get to this fight. Right, so I'm getting my suppression next turn. So let's use this here. This is unclashable, right? Yeah, it's unclashable. Let's just win every single fight here. Apply gripping onto the fluorescence would be ideal so I can one shot the fluorescence. Uh, I think I can spare some extra slots here. Okay, something like this, and then the rest of you just pound into the fluorescence, which I cannot remember the vulnerabilities of. Okay, this should be fine. Yeah, this looks good to me. So we just clash everything else and then we just try to unga bunga fluorescence here. Use the gripping to apply the thing and then we can do this one side of the ring. Okay. Gang Chung! Boss only has 1000 HP. Generally making railway less grindy is really, really good. <laughs> What's the best Gregor ID? Uh, why? Do Eagle resources not carry? No, they do. They do carry over. And Pirate Gregor is good for damage to toys, but uh, if you want Unga Bunga, then it's good to why. And if you want uh, just a bench warmer, then it's not good. Here. Okay, Dichi is taking a bunch of hits. She can't afford it, so it's okay. Uh, the headbutt is the one that I need to win. Let's think about this. Fluorescence. This one will lose. This one rose how much? I don't remember. Is it 15? I think it's 15. It rose a 15, so. Ego do I need to use to beat that? I actually don't remember. This will win, right? Yeah, 30. Because he's paralyzed, so this is a guaranteed win on the blind obsession. This will corrode him though. Minus 15, yeah, that will corrode him. Uh, that's a bit annoying. Which of my egos here has really high base damage? Sunshower? Sunshower's base damage is 17. Yeah, that will win. Then we will also keep this. We can use this to clash something else. Use this one. one, one. It's a neutral clash. This one should be fine. This one should be fine. This one should be fine. It's hopeless, I think it's okay. And if we actually do this, I think we actually break the headpiece. So let's just go ahead and break this. Gang Chung! Might be dead. Mm. This boss is really squishy. Okay, all good. Fail it, it. Oh dear. Well, shit. Well, shit. Forgotten. There's only one paralyzed.
리드. 카론, 기다리는 거 못해. 백초만 기다려줄게. 윈린. 어, oh, you can reroll. I don't remember these skills being the same. Okay, hold on. Let me try again. There's a dither here in the wrong start. Mm. Does it actually keep dither? Four speed dither. Can you reroll? Did they actually bring back rerolling? They did bring back rerolling. You can reroll. Okay. If you wanted to, you could just keep pressing retry just to get an optimal start like quick suppression 6. Okay, they really did bring it back. We are back in Railway 1 again. <laughs> Any support units Pirate Gregor needs, um, you would put LCCB Ryoshu, but at the same time, you would have to give up W Ryoshu or something like that. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, that one would really be up to you if you want to use that passive for just Gregor. In general, for the first run, if you're going in blind, you should just bring a bunch of 3 stars so that uh, if the height of the 3 star matters. Then you can swap. So, okay, this railway is a little bit annoying just cause you can do the rerolling strat again. Meaning that I should be seeing some crazy uh, RNG strats that some people will be rerolling non-stop for. But I have a life so I'm probably not going to do that. This should kill. This should not kill. But this should kill. Yeah, this should kill and then this will definitely kill. <laughs> yes, RR is out. Time to suffer. Okay. So just use this here, 40 damage, that's 67 HP. 67 HP is just two moves. We should be a kill. Use this. Plus this. Plus this. I'd rather not waste bullets because it's fine to swing down. Oh dear, he's a rodent. Alright, remember, Pulse apply only one paralyze. Only one paralyze. The resistance is almost breaking. Karun, waiting is not enough. I'll wait for a Line obsession is how much coin power by default. 
It has 2, 4, 6, 8, 8, 23. 23 by default. So I will need a move of 23 to beat it, or I will need someone to just eat the shit out of it. But Inga with you, is that okay? This is 15, that will not win. It has to be 13. Mm. A little bit annoying, I don't think I have that high coin power. It has to be 30 something, right? Yeah, I do have 4th match available right now. Eh, it's blunt. She shouldn't die from this. Okay. Quick suppression? No quick suppression coming up. Should be able to just beat the shit out of all these moves. Oh wait! What am I talking about? I can just make clear this. Never mind. Don't have to make Rodion die. Okay, and then we can target this part to the fluorescence. Yep. This should beat the fluorescence fine. Everything here. And this one can go here. No, that doesn't work. You can go here. Something like this should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine. Check job, I'll get Hamira. Shouldn't kill him though, even though that didn't look good. Oh, that was really good. Oh, that was really good. Yeah, Alright, Nick corroded again. Ah oh, shit, it's hitting all our friends. And Dichi can take a hit, it's fine. Okay, uh, he should be hitting this now, very good. They're all paralyzed again. Kill his sack, just to heal up another. Struggling to be a sweep, and there's only one paralyzed, it's fine. Shoot at the fluorescence. Okay, sun shower here. And then we can use the for us for the face. Guessing damage as well. So. Fluorescence is zero and broken. Uh, I got quick suppression already, so that is going to be a kill. He's gonna ram his head there as well, so BH, I don't need to do a damn thing here. Just this, just this, on to here, on to here, and on to here. I think something like that should work. Oh, wait, I ran out of bullets. Oh my god. Whatever, whatever. 
fight. The only banner I have is the 100 or less turns one, so it's really Enough. easy to get that requirement. I'm just to send it, and I should be able to get my banner immediately. Alright, so how many turns was that? That was 7 and 6, probably could have gotten less, but it's fine. Ooh, Gossipium! Okay. Let's see, Ningtai has 33 HP, we'll bring him along. Um, Grippy, I'm not sure what is the type needed. Let's go in and explore a little bit. Let's just explore a little bit here and see what type he is. He inflicts Gossipium when the drenched Gossipium is in red stained Gossipium state. Gain bleed and bleed count. Okay. I more or less expected him to be a bleed. He has an enclushable move. Among targets with Gossipium, attack the unit with the slowest speed and deal Gossipium more damage. And you also heal by Gossipium damage dealt. Hmm, okay. 4 to 12 evasion skill. Right. So this is unclashable, so no point. Let's attack this, attack this. Uh, which one's the weakest skill here for clashing? Not particularly any weak skills here. This one is going to target Rodi. Wait. Oh yeah, this is unclashable, right? I forgot. There is only one body part. Okay, only target the body. Alright, to you. Okay, over Normal to piercing. And slashing. He just evades all of them. Okay, lovely. Okay, very annoying evasion boss. Might be weak to slashing because it's a tree question. Prioritize the unit with the lowest speed. Damage dealt by this attack skill is fixed to zero and he enters the red stained gossipium state next turn. Okay. Alright. So he has a few unclashable moves. Fix three Gossipium. I already have three Gossipium on me. He has one Paralyze. Remember, it's only one Paralyze. Quick suppression here. Oh boy, time to do a new. Alright, let's let the quick suppression. Here. Keep forgetting the evasion. This evasion is actually so annoying. <laughs> Can only evade the first two skills. Okay, weak to slashing, so bring your slasher along. This is blunt, so blunt is not very good here. Okay, we are in red Gossipium mode. What does this do now? Attacks the target with the most bleed. If the main target is the target with the most bleed, base power plus 5. Okay, inflict times 2 effects, which is 4 bind, 4 lust, 16 bleed, and 8 bleed down. This is cashable, thankfully, so you don't have to eat it at all. I'm running low on lust resource. I have another good ego to clash with this. Not particularly. Never mind. We just clash with this. Should win, right? Yeah, 15 to 24, that should be a win. 
Save some ammo. So far seems like a standard Unga Bunga. Oh, we got two more Unclashables here. Looks like a classic Unga Bunga race where you have to rush him down before he outscales and starts to kill you. But it's, the HP is like so small and it's only 1000 HP so he just dies anyway. The sip occurrence applies six sinking or did they give uh, yeah, the, he does still apply 6 sinking with 3 count. So pretty much the same as before. Uh, Silk Current also applies the Paralyze which is a little more annoying uh, compared to the sinking count. This is definitely the wrong team to bring in. They, he just resists all of my damage. Can I see his elements again? Weak to Pride, Weak to Wrath, and Weak to Slashing 1.3 times only. Oh, so Pride and Wrath is still the main way, so actually it's not too bad. Oh, but this is annoying though. Wait, he unstaggered me? I was staggered. Does he have a passive to unstagger? Ah, there it is! The white Gossipium, there it is. And applies two attack power down on them next turn. Turn and apply a bind to enemies with Gossipium. Okay, okay, okay. A bit annoying this fight, but not too bad, I would say. Pretty much still uh, standard human stuff here, so we should be fine. Uh, let's see. This one is paralyzed, so don't be fooled. This one is 11 plus 4, 15. 15 in total. This one is 16 in total, so it has a pretty high chance of beating it. Uh, I can just use leap, I think. Oh, but I still have to attack power down, which is a bit of a uh, This one is attacking too. Bows. Now I'll attack this one. In clear, you can attack this one. And then you can. Any quick suppression? No quick suppression. Okay. Oh shit. I look at it wrong. It is gonna hurt. Okay, yeah, no, no, no. I read that wrongly. Maybe I was looking at the wrong skill. Oh, just use ego to clash at UVs. Okay, wait, wait, wait. If I'm gonna give up, I might as well just retry with a different team. Piercing is not it. Okay, piercing is it because they, he doesn't resist piercing, but blunt is a bit annoying. So let's see. He's weak to wrath and weak to slashing. So I wanna take advantage of that. Weak to slashing. Piercing is fine. Blunt is a bit annoying, but Ninclair is different. Dichi is not that great here. Uh, maybe Rhino is slightly better. I think Rhino might be slightly better here. Mm, but mm, root space. I'd rather get Wrath and Pride, I think, for this one. Ref and Pride, do you have Ref and Pride? You don't, but you are double slashing. So I can get the 1.3 times damage. 1.3 times damage with one use of Regret Ego with triple coin. Uh, possible. It's possible damage. Vulnerable to piercing. And this guy does have some stupid ass dodging, so I do want some explosive moves, I think. Dawn is really good actually, the typing is very good for her. I think this is the Ding Kong, yeah. Only one blunt because it's Ning Clair, and then the rest of them is not blunt. Should be fine. Yeah, this should be a little bit better compared to just now. 
백초만 기다려 줄게. Okay, n e w clan. Just go and win any clan. We get quite a bit of tremor count here. Dominating with the wrong start dither. Do I care about that? No, I rather keep it. So I think something like this, and then deep here to gain some charge. And then we. Oh, I can't body sag, but next turn get the suppression. That's so sad. My apple magic is not enough. Wow, that was all this. Pure Nara. What did I do wrong? I don't know. It's the beginning. Alright, let's see. Hit the recipient. This one is unclashable, so no points. Gripping. I need to use my skill 1 here. I also need to use my skill 1 here. I don't mind using rip here. Oh, okay, body s a n g Very good. This one is attacking Ryoshu one side that way. Don't do that then. Okay, very good. It should be fun. Pure body. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this RNG. I get my turn one quick suppression. Quick suppression should beat flourishing gossip. I need to check which move this is. It's seven plus four plus four. Why did he roll 18 just now? Oh, because if the target has bleed, base power plus five. Okay, so who's the main target? Do you have the most bleed on you? You don't even have bleed on you. So does that mean you're the highest by default? I actually don't remember. So if you do get plus five base power. That means you are 12, 12 plus 4 plus 4, 12 plus 8, 20. 20 quick suppression still wins as long as I roll all hits. So it should be fine. Well, actually, no, it wins regardless, but whatever. It's the exact same thing. Okay, you can one suddenly attack here. Here. Uh, can we d a t there? We can't d a t there yet. One side here, one side here, and one side here. Okay. It should be fine. Light of fragility. Getting very close here. He applies a lot of fresh. Oh no no, that's his fresh. That's his fresh. Never mind. I am very slowly bleeding to death. That seems to be the nature of this fight. Body set. Body set. Body set. Dominating. Favorite. Do a one-sided. Yeah, this one's attacking who? Ah, oh, it's attacking me. Uh, this one's attacking who? This one's attacking you. Shoot. Prepare one side. Next face one side. No. Teleport? No, I don't even need to teleport. No point. Uh, memorial? No, I need this one. I can make it for that. Pure b o d y Yeah, 
金玉樹じゃ OK スタイル寸劇一択空半分もげっさけおぬれベオレッジよしよしよしよしよし That's the damage I want to see はっしゃ1.5 times weak to rap, baby. Hmm. Chokdiri, Munda k e e p i n to a boy in Gokata. Shoot him, stab him, stab him, and d a t e r him. Okay, yeah, it's 100% dead. Uh, can I pop an ego hit for healing? I don't think I need it. Never mind. Jengura, Pui got to come next up. Kid the kid today. Are the rewards the same? Uh, rewards are roughly the same. You get 40 pulls and I think a bunch of EMI jokes and whatnot. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Boss is weak to ref, so bring your Ning Claire, and then boss is weak to slice, so bring your W Ryoshu. Pretty easy. 5 turn clear, we hit the healing station. Healing station, how do I heal people? Oh, I can. I forgot I can, like, uh, I can swap team members if I wanted to. Okay, that's actually cool. That means that for the first part, if you want to bring AoE, you bring AoE with uh, Dashut Otis. And then after that, you swap out your Dashut Otis for like Mola Otis or something for later fights. Uh, looks like we're going to be fighting other Blossom plus uh, 3-9 or 9-3 and the Clam. I don't remember any of their weaknesses, so... Uh, I'm just going to save my team here, I think. I'm not going to change it. The min-maxing will come later when I have a bunch of free time. Let's see, for Clam, who to bring? Clam is in blunt damage. I think it might be blunt damage. So it might be better to bring these two here. Uh, it's crazy to not bring Ryoshu though. I don't remember if there's multiple body parts. I'll just bring this first and then we'll Why see what the typing is again. Because I don't remember the typing of the Clam. Okay, Clam is... Okay, it's not giving me the stats, but I can check this because it is an abnormality. Uh, and I am going to check this because I don't want to trial and error this. Let's see. Mirror Dungeon. I'm looking for Clan. What's the name of this app? No, I can't even remember. Anyway, headless, no blubbering, no none of you. Very long legs, no none of you either. Law 2. Golden apple, proceeding to choose, no. Wait, can we not get Clam in Mirror Dungeon? Oh, maybe we can't get Clam in Mirror Dungeon. We, oh, we only fought him in Story Mode. Only in Story Mode that we fought him. Okay, so we don't know his statuses. I remember he just consumed slime and we just need to unga boonga him until we get to the pearl. By default, we'll hit the shell. Right, I think that's all of the mechanics. Just focus down the entire top part with blunt team. This part here doesn't really matter because we always hit the shell. I think he resists that to me, so that was not a great move to use then. <laughs> we can, I got them as my floor 5 boss twice. Okay? Oh, okay, maybe I'm checking the wrong floor. Okay, hold on, floor 5. Floor 5, where is he? Bay Lantern, Dream Devouring. Ambling Pearl. Ah, Ambling Pearl. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, Limbus Kusoge has not uh, recorded the resistances yet. So I'm gonna have to figure it out manually. I imagine he's weak, to, he just resists all of them, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he just resists all of them. 
doesn't particularly matter. Uh, then the mechanic is he will try to defeat the slime to gain slime upon defeating target. So you just need to kill the one that he tries to go for. So I usually just commit like what two moves to it. That should be done. Or I can just commit one move. Yeah, just commit this. Oh wait, body sack. Flash this. Gripping again. Uh, this one 27, a bit too risky, I don't like that. Uh, Dada's coming up. 21 damage. I want to make sure this thing dies, so it's going to be this plus this item. You can hit this, and then you can hit this. So as long as we defeat this slime here, it should be fine. Let me just clash it again. Does defeating this thing actually do anything? Apply tree, apply poison. No, it's just a typical kill uh, them. Okay, yeah, that seems correct. This is basically the boss mechanic. I don't think there's any other way to cheat this boss to make the pearl come out faster. You just have to wait until he opens up that pearl to you and stand by for the turn where you can go and down. Consume two green slime, inflict lava, consume two, inflict lava. Okay, we are getting ready for him to run out of slime. He's gonna try to eat all of them. So another body sack is going to be used here. Body sack to defeat, defeat this. And now we just need to defeat all of these things down here. Oh dear. Uh, okay, yeah, I just need to be here. Do the sack. Do the sack should hit all of them? No, do the sack does not hit all of them. It only hits two of them. And only does 24 damage to two of them. Uh, do I have a better AoE? I have Rhyme Shank, which I should be using here. We do Rhyme Shank here, which is 55 to these two here. And then after that, we'll do Fluid Sack. Like this one here, and that should be 32 because this thing is weak to glue. Man. This thing is 1.5 times weak to glue. Yeah, should be fine as long as I roll the hits. We can use the player here again. We bought the side this thing here, and then we can, I don't know, snack up with this. I'm generating so much glue actually, so it's really fine. On evade, you take poison. Just make sure all of these things die here. Uh, AoE is hitting this plus this. Okay, and then AO is hitting this plus this. Okay, should be enough to kill all of them as long as I really Oh, Mike is a little quiet. Okay. Okay, there. I made 250% volume. It loses all slime, it staggers. Shield, yeah, yeah, okay. Yep. Pretty much the exact same mechanics as I expected. No, it did not roll in! Is it enough to kill? Okay, it is, it is, it is. Okay, Rhyme Chang kills even without rolling hits. Okay. Who will take his meaning away? My mind whip will. Because this is a very balanced skill. Alright. Staggered. Let's focus down that pearl. Quick suppression onto the pearl. Big unga bunga moves, all of them dumpster onto this pearl right now. Oh shit, my mind whip is not 8 charge. Oh. 
Oh man, and then data here. Oh, if I had Mind Whip, I might have won actually. That's like so much damage. Oh, that feels so bad. I wonder if it actually matters. He might just die anyway. No, 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 it mattered, it mattered. I needed the Mind Whip. Oh no! No, it ruled all hits. Now my, it would not have mattered. Okay, my we were method, you have that. Never mind, it didn't matter. Because big win moves. Okay. Use my weak coward? No, 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 no. I am a coward. I accept that I am a coward. Alright, four turns clear on the on the clam. Alright, now let's do truth. Uh, I cannot remember what truth does. I know you have to hit the candles to trigger it. So that's something to remember. I think we take out Dichi, we put in W Don. W Don has more explosions. Still a bit quiet. Maybe the game is too loud. Okay, let me let me change my volume settings a little bit. Okay, something like this, and then audio to 300. Okay, there we go. I can't beat Gossipium. It's not super hard. Gossipium is just bring slash damage, bring your Ninclair, stagger him, and then Unga Bunga him. So, yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, for this one, if I remember correctly, you have to hit every single one of them, you have to kill every single one of them. So, this will guarantee one kill. Quick suppression turn one. No! <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay. Uh, Dither here, I think, as a round start is fine. Leap here is good. Cackle here plus mind strike. Oh, actually, in that case, uh, mind strike here. Wait, 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 hold on. He's weak to gloom. The candles are weak to gloom. Uh, this, this, then you can hit this as well, then you can hit that, and you can hit that. Okay, that should break all candles on turn one. It was too damage off. Oh, I made a misplay. Minor misplay, but still. Damn it, one candle was not lit. Oh, but it burned to death! Yes! Optimal! Thank you to burn! Okay, turn one, all candles lit. What is the gameplay here again? He prioritizes the mark target. Deal SP damage by number of candles lit. Uh, if I remember correctly, if every candle is snuff, game resistance until all candles are lit again. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so now we can Unga Bunga him. At this point in time, just need to clash with him. I'm gonna have to take a favorable clash here. Also, going to have to take a favorable clash here. Oh shit, why is the quick suppression here? Do I use it now? I. Uh, do I. To save or not to save? I feel like I should save it. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a save here, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Wait, no. Self-destructive is coming out. Okay, but it's a shit turn for self-destructive. Okay, now my now my we are gonna save, we're gonna save. We're actually gonna save. Okay. And then uh we will use our move here one-sidedly, and then that we should take over, and that should be fine. <sighs> and she lost. I don't remember the resistances of this guy. Resist Pierce, shit. And I bet he resists Raph also. Does he resist blood? And slashing, let's try. Slashing? Okay, weak to slashing because he's a stick. And normal to blunt. So I should take out my piercers for more blunt characters. 
I'm trying to think if I have any better Blum characters. Not particularly. Ah, it should be fine. Nah, it should be fine. What's the resistance anyway? 0 0.5? Okay, but at least Gloom is two times, so it's still going to be fine. Okay, we got Gripping Applied. Snuff out all candles next turn. Clash loose. Okay, so we have to win that one. We're going to hit him with everything we got. Oh my god, the expression is here. Feels bad, man. Something like this, something like this, and then I need a big ego to beat 92 here. What is 92's ability? 92 is a negative coin. And I give him paralyzed. Love to see it. So he's going to roll around 30-ish with that ego. So I need something that can roll around that level, which I don't actually have. So I'm gonna need something that just really rolls that high. Mind weight, how much did you roll again, mind weight? My rule 6, 12, 18, 24, 24, 26. 24, 26, 26 versus this. Yeah, no, I still lose. I'm pretty sure. Why is it rule? Why is it 30 here? Oh, because it's one-sided. Actually, my wins. But I can't clash it. Uh... Then Claire rules 30 here though. Yeah, then Claire wins that no matter what, I think. Unless he happens to roll triple hits, then he'll lose that. Uh, this looks fine to me. Yeah, I, I think I just throw away the quick suppression here. Nothing much I can really do about that. Nick, We're applying leap anyway, so we can stack quite a bit of... Uh, stack quite a bit of fragility. Uh, This is actually so shit, this one. <laughs> what placement is Gossipium? Uh, it doesn't matter what placement Gossipium is, because he only has one body part. I think the main problem here is that this guy resists blood by... Hmm. Is there a better team comp to cut down the turns? Cause this boss is really thick. Hmm. Oh, I really don't know, I really don't know. So from experience, Mind Strike kills one. Uh, Ninclair barely kills one with a moral. Does this actually kill better? It might kill better, actually. Leap here. What are cannons resistant to again? It's gloom, right? It's gloom and gluttony. Oh, gloom and glutton. Then body here is... I can't check right now, he's resistant to all. Quite a pain this boss. I mean I can get the sub hundred, it's just I'm trying to figure out what's the optimal way to fight this boss later. So bring your double gloom seems to be the best option. Yeah, you lose quite a few turns here if you don't have the one shot on each of them. Oh my goodness, double rip space. Not a great time for this man, not a great time. Evade, don't consume the ammo. So you need everyone to kill one candle with one move. And these things are weak to gloom and glut. Huh. 
Alright, they attack you. The prophet records endlessly. Well, I messed up already. So time to change the team form. 86 burn on Inclair. That's not going to work. 27 count. So can I actually check the res resistance from here now? Yep, I can. That's nice. Weak to Gloom, weak to Slash. That one I know he's weak to Slash. So I want Slash, I definitely want Gloom. And I also want Pride, if possible. So if I want... What about Envy? Is he weak to Envy? Or resist Envy? It's one times, is it? One times Envy. Okay, so Envy is still fine. So W Dawn, very good. Grippy is still good for the buffs. Gloom. Uh... But blunt though, she is blunt. And I believe his body... Oh, it's one times for blunt. Piercing is not good here. Piercing is not good. I need an AoE ego. Uh, piercing's not good, definitely not bringing you. Dichi is 100% being brought here. Yeah, I think Dichi is definitely the character to bring. These two are definitely characters to bring. Reindeer not so good here. Just, uh, Ninclair is still Ninclair, so we'll still bring him along. Is there a better option besides Grippy? Because... Actually no, I am using Blunt Pierce, Pierce, Pierce here. So it's still gonna be good. And her cackle can kill one candle. So I think it's still a play. Potentially bringing Ting Tang could be good also, but I don't think the candles count as kills since they're not dead. So I think it doesn't really matter here. Not enough ref for fourth match, yeah. Uh, definitely need AoE egos for this one. So hopefully you built up your AoE egos around this point. In my case, I have to use uh, Rhyme Shank. Thankfully, Rhyme Shank is very, very good here. Because Rhyme Shank does basically one shot three of them as long as I can generate enough gloom. And basically, any gloom or gloom thing here will actually do the trick here. Uh, this plus this. In case Rhyme Shack rolls tails, it still does 36 damage, so still going to kill all of them. Yeah, so Eagle for Rhyme Shank here is really, really good. Let's refine a little bit. Uh... Okay, two moves here, and then Rhyme Shank should be able to handle the rest of them here. Then we use our shittiest moves here. Tackle only does half health. But Minkla can kill one of them, even with rolling hits. That's very nice. Here comes Rhyme Shang. Killing three of them in one. Very good. Okay, there. All candles lit up in one turn. I'm gonna have to build up more gloom for Rhyme Shang. Alright. Let's get the DPS going. Oh, quick suppression. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I need to one side with Ninclair, so we do this, and then we do this, and then we can DG this. Uh, this might be a little bit better for DG. Yeah, very good. Uh, anyone I want to prep for? Uh, this is how much charge? This is 8 charge. That will give me rip space. Very nice. No dither coming up, unfortunately. Okay, everything calculated. Should be good to go. Our sword with envy, gloom, and lust. Ah, our sword is pretty okay. Lust on his skill tree feels bad. Uh, yeah, I guess the lust does feel a little bit bad. But uh, our sword doesn't do that much damage. Actually, no, because of slashing plus gloom, he does more damage. Yeah, our sword is definitely better here. Our sword is definitely better here. I think you guys are right. Oh, I can't believe I missed one coin. It was supposed to be risk based turn after this. Uh, okay, let's see. We have to beat the big move here. Uh, we don't have rip space this turn, unfortunately. Unopposed. Favored to win. 
dominating. No point using the gripping here because we are about to go into the non DPS phase. I think body sack with this, yes. Yeah, I rolls 25 on the hits. As long as he doesn't roll bad, he should be fine. But if he rolls bad, Rabbit actually dies. Well, Rabbit, don't fail me now. This should be okay. Then we will have one AoE go for the next phase, where the candles will come up again. Oh, so close to getting that face done with. Okay, time to AOE them down. To the sack, gloom, very good. To the sack, that's how much? To one? On a bottom row, it's still just 28, so it kills 3 candles, very good. This will kill those candles, this will kill those candles. Uh, you can just dodge this, hit here, and we can just hit this or something, I don't really know. Yeah, pretty much this will kill. Okay, if you want, you can go here. 49, that should be fine for that one. Okay, three candles broken. Oh. Okay, good thing I did assign grip to that one. Very nice. All candles lit in one go. Okay, time to DPS you down. Defeat longing. Uh, sanity wise, we are actually really healthy on the sanity. Uh, so we should go for a one sided action here. Hmm. Can long catch of anything? He cannot. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Which one hitting Rodi? All of you hitting... Oh right, because he's marked. Well, shit. That's not cool. Which one does the least damage? Okay, you have to clash. No helping it. Ah, you don't have to clash. Okay, imagine this at all. Yep, okay. That's good. Alright, broke the body, now we're doing full damage. We get our rip space here, yep we do. More damage, more damage. Uh, we can set up a quick suppression next turn. Do I bother? Does this kill already? Let's check 76, 70. No, this definitely does not kill. It gets close but does not kill. Yeah, it only gets close. I might just want to set up quick suppression then. Uh. 
I'm assault with the S skill 2 gloom, skill 3 pride, slash fresh high coins. Yeah, I think so. I mean, for W sword skill 1, you can just uh, get by with uh, with an ego use or something like that. Uh, who will read the records? Go, Grippy. Read the records for me. Gain 4 damage up for fragility. Okay, it's going to die now. This took 7 turns. And we have quick suppression round 1. Okay. Just make sure that we win all of these guaranteed. Uh, who's attacking this one? Heath. Is he attack marked? He yeah, attacks marked. That's... Uh, every time, man. Just, okay, just kill it before he gets hit. Please, just kill it before he gets hit. Actually, he, you kill it. You kill it. There we go. Alright. Yeah, all in, all in. All in again. Pierce for fights 1 to 3, not Pierce for fights 4 to 6. Uh, perhaps? So far, uh, I mean, piercing doesn't really matter for the clan, but this one, yeah, not a good one to bring Pierce for. Um, okay, let's see what the ardor is going to be. I'm just gonna bring a random team com in. I don't actually, like, know what the hell this guy does. Right, refracted. Let's see. Gain Ember. Let's read. Convert a number of non Wrath affinity skills equal to the value of Ember into Wrath affinity. For himself? On hit, inflict burn equal to number of Wrath affinity skills that the other blossom will use this turn. On hit, heal HP equal to number of. Inflict burn equal number. I see. So he converts his own skills to Wrath, and then he inflicts burn and heals based on what he turns to Wrath. And he does not have Wrath skills by default. Target has 3 plus, inflict and spark. Inflict burn equal to burn on self against 2 adjacent. Oh, it's spread burn. I think spark is uh, Xiao's burn from Runa, if I remember correctly. I can't remember. I think Xiao is on one target, right? Not, not spread. I don't think uh, Xiao's is a spread burn, but okay. Oh, and then he has stopped the flames. If like two shimmering embers, which I can't exactly check what they do. Oh, wait, I can. Gain spark when hit by a certain skill. I see. Uh, okay, let's check resistances now. Let's just do some win rating. This is unclashable. Damage dealt is fixed to zero. Okay, so it's understandably that. Uh, we got a struggler here. 6 to 12, 6 to 12 should be fine, TBH. Speed is fixed to 1, okay. Dominating, dominating, dominating. Looks fine to me. How many body parts? We got wings and we got body. Let's try breaking the wings first and see what happens. Uh, can I apply gripping to the wings? Wings is these two moves, right? Okay. In that case, we'll do it. Okay, let's turn that off. Gripping to this. Leap to this. Slash this, uh, blunt to this, and blunt to this. And then we can shoot the part here. Okay. Let's do some testing here. Resist Pierce on wing, okay. Normal blunt to body. Rupi decides to lose. Flash on body is fine. This does zero damage. But he heals based on the burn that you've applied onto the targets. And he also applies burn onto the targets. Also applies Shimmering Ember. Wow, losing one is just not fun because he will straight up apply a crap ton of burn on you. Uh, let's try this. 
do a body sack and do this. Mm. Real shoot skill doesn't really do anything here. Favored. Dominating. Dust explosion. If the target has 7 plus burn, uh, she can't take that hit either. Inflict burn equal to burn on target. Inflict plus 2 burn count. Let's do some testing here. Body slashing. Blunt to the body was fine. Last I remember. Let's try slashing. Slashing at AoE. Will it hit both? Okay, hits both. Both are normal to slashing, but I guess they resist wrath because this is the Ardor Blossom after all. Weight of Knowledge. Dust Explosion is quite scary. It rolls pretty high. Okay, with that, I should have all the resistances. Okay, Wings is weak to slashing. So that's where all of my slashing goes to go. Body, I don't know about piercing. Hopeless. Oh, the other Blossom Star, right? I didn't even read the move. The move is literally the other Blossom Star. Okay, how much coins do you roll? You roll 41. How do I beat the other Blossom Star? Gain Clash Power equal to number of skills that the other Blossom Morph will use this turn. Gain Clash Power equal to number, so it's using 3, so it gains 6 Clash Power this turn. Is this the play? If it's gaining Clash Power, then don't I just dodge it? I, th I think that could work. But no, I mean, there's really no point to doing that. Uh, Teleport? Rhyme Shang? I got quite a few options here. Teleport? Do you win that? Neutral? You have to roll a 32 or higher. 32 or higher. I don't have an ego that rolls that high. It would have to be Ninclair then. Ninclair can try to beat that. He has a pretty okay odd to beat that. And then we can focus down the wings with some quick suppression, some favored, associating study, some relief. This should be okay now, I think. So let's go. Wing is weak to slashing, so Ryoshu and maybe maybe Rhino Masaw is actually the play here for a lot of these fights. Because I noticed they're really all weak to slashing. Okay, wing broken. Okay, Ninclair managed to win. Yeah, pretty good odds to win. It's Ninclair. Thank you, Ryoshu, for not rolling a single hit. Sorry, not rolling two hits because I needed specifically two hits. Okay, this boss is a huge pain in the ass, holy shit. Is there a better character to bring? Double check status. Okay, the wing is staggered now, so this is a bit wrong, but... Gloom, yeah, Gloom slashing. It should be Gloom slashing. So anything with Gloom and slashing is just going to be very, very good here. So it's probably going to be Rhino Vassal. Uh. Uh, Rhino Vassal was the play. And all of the characters with Gloom. Who else was the one with Gloom? Uh, not Yisan. Yisan is piercing, which is not great here. Uh, Reindeer is not bad here. But I think he resists Wrath. Yeah, 0 0.2 Wrath. This is not good for Wrath characters. Obviously, because this is literally the other Blossom Star. Stoke the Flames, Unclashable. This boss is really punishing if you lose one Clash. It's really, really punishing. And his blue skills are really high rolly also. It's kind of crazy.
That one's gonna hit real sure. Can I hit this? Okay, good. Hit this, please. I think I'm just gonna power through this. I just wanna see what this boss does. Last as well, so it's not that great. But Gloom is definitely the way. Gloom does a crap ton of damage. Here. Yeah, she's gonna burn to death. <laughs> Twenty-nine five. I only have a. I'm on the time on the time limit right now. Reach out for the shadow. All sinners lose burn. Okay, there's a reset. There is a reset. That's very good. That's very good. There is a reset. He regenerated his wings. The wings just regenerated. Hello? The wings just regenerated. The wings are the main weak point. Yeah, the wings are the main weak point. So you want to focus down the boss's wings with these elements here. Okay, and the wings are also weak to uh, weak to slashing. So target all of your slashing moves there as well. Okay, dominating. Yeah, that dominates. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Uh, this should dominate, yeah, that will dominate as well. This piercing, I mean... I can just evade this, right? Yeah, I'll just evade that for the gang. Then the rest of us can just focus down the wings. Wings with this piercing. Yeah, wings with this piercing, but gloom is two times, so it doesn't matter. This is the 62 and this is how much. If I were to one side. Let's see, uh, if I were to one side, this will do 37. Nah, this one's too better. More coins. Okay, dominating, unstoppable. Just go ham on the wings. I lost? Damn. Okay, break those wings again. Yep, gloom two times damage. Just dodge that, he played. Very cool. Alright, stagger it again. Love to see it. The other Blossom Star is about to happen again. Oh man, this boss fight is a pain, dude. It's an actual pain. Uh, Telepo? Telepo doesn't even win that. What has a high roll enough to win? Because this shit will wipe me out. Uh. Just on the body. Oh, if I stagger the wings, does that mean the move gets cancelled? No, it's will use. Ah, oh, this is such a pain. It rolls so high! I need these other blossom to be other blossom! <laughs> or I can RNG it with impending day. Neutral. I think Rhyme Shang is one of the better options here. Yeah, 30, right? 30. If she rolls the heads. Okay. So Rhyme Shang will save the day. Body sack. Hmm, my last energy is really running very low here. Uh, just dodge that, I guess. Can you win? Yeah, you're favored to win. The rest of you just focus down the wings. Oh, what a pain. Full boss fight. He punishes you really hard for losing one clash. 
Oh yeah, 7 4. 7 4 is really good here. You're right. SP and HP management is tough this real way. Not too bad. It's not too bad. I don't particularly find any part like really difficult. Oh my god, I'm burning rabbit as well. Oh. Alright, no, no, no. Holy shit, this boss is so punishing. It's actually so punishing. One time burn and the burn stays forever until you get to the wing stage. Okay, we need Gloom. And we need Rhino. Alright, so... Okay, I think that's quite cool that this part here is better for... Actually, no, this part is not partic- It's good for AoEs. It's good for AoEs. And then here's Slashing. Then you come to here, you want Gloom and Slashing most of the time. This one, you want Gloom and Slashing. So it's definitely- They're definitely bringing him. Ninclair might not be the play. Because Ninclair gets resisted by a lot. Ninclair gets resisted a lot. Like, that's a lot of re resistance. That's a crap ton. Yeah, might not be the play. The wings are weak to sloth. I believe they are resistant to pierce as well. Uh, in that case, is this the first time I take out Nicklair? I think this might be the first time I ever take out Nicklair. That's crazy. No, but Nicklair still has blue on skill 1. That's, yeah. Spice Bush plus Sun Shower Clear Blossom well. Would it? Pierce isn't good for this fight in general, so Spice Bush is not particularly good. Oh, but is he weak to Sloth? Is Arda weak to Sloth? He is weak to Sloth. Ah, you're right, he is weak to Sloth. So actually, Spice Bush is not bad. Yeah, Spice Bush is not bad. Envy weakness? Envy should be fine, right? But I think Rabbit. I mean, you bring Rabbit just because he has fragility, la, so. It's... It's fine to bring rabbit, I think. Uh, you for sure. You for sure. You. Hmm. Hold on. I might actually not bring Rippy as well. Dichi is Gloom. You are Fragility. Huh. And you are the Mind Whip. No, can't use you because of Mind Whip. But skill 1 is still Gloom. Rhino is definitely going to be King here. The two slashes as well are going to be kings here. Sloth, good. Sloth, good. Huh, but you do have Gloom on skill 1. Huh, he does have Gloom on skill 1. And he is Ninclair. I think there's no way you drop Ninclair. I think you just use skill 1. Yeah, I think skill 1 actually does a substantial amount of damage here. So you should bring him still. Reindeer... Probably not. How about Otis? Uh, I mean, I don't. I didn't bring Zoigwerger, so yeah, I can't. The two Sun Shower plus Deluge. I I don't have a lot of sinking application. Okay, I do have Rhyme Shang actually. Yeah, I didn't bring Zoigwerger, so this is not very good. Otis. Oh, oh, Otis. You're right, Otis. Huh. Ah, sloth gloom, uh, gloom plus slashing plus sloth plus sloth. Okay, I think we're cooking. I think you're right. It's it is more like this, I think. Uh, dashu, dash, dashu is maybe only good for the first three fights. Not good for this one. Okay, let's see. Round start. We got a neutral one here already, mostly cause uh, she has zero SP, right? Yeah, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky to beat that. He also has zero SP here, so also going to be tricky to beat that. Uh, can I use regret one time? I can. Okay, in that case, that changes things a little bit. Let's use regret on this to win that for sure. And then, which move can I use to farm some SP? I can use this one to farm SP. And then Dichi can go and one side attack the wings, I guess. Actually, no, I would like to let my 
my slashing moves attack the wings and the gloom skill to attack the wings as well. So blood steeped, you go here. Wings are hmm, I've never tested pride damage on it before. But never mind. Whatever. This should be fine. Okay, let's go. Alright, SP farm. Regret activated. DPS assault online. Mola autism might work. Uh, wouldn't pursuance Rodia also outroll Blossom? Oh yeah, I I don't have pursuance Rodion, which is fine. That run's not screwed. Uh, I'm not trying to like super min max my run. Uh, which one's the wings? Because the wings are two times weak to slow, one point five times weak to slow. Okay. Uh, resist last. Can I use my last skill somewhere else? Yeah. Okay, so clashing skills go to the body. Slashing skills go to the wings as much as you can possibly make that happen. Oh, AoE is actually really good yeah, for this fight. Now that I think about it. Assault. How is your clashing power? Nope, struggling. Okay. Understood. Uh, this is a neutral clash. I might want to dodge this then. Yeah, I think I might want to dodge this. Unless I'm getting Dader next turn. No, I'm getting another skill one. So no rush for her. So favorite, favorite, dominating, dominating. One-sided gloom striking by my um, assault onto the wings. I don't think I have any yeah, SP regen also. in this party, which is a bit uh, annoying. Probably should have brought a uh, Rhino Assault all the way. Random Assault and who are the other characters that I brought in exchange? Rhino Assault and... Oh, and Mola Otis. I don't think Mola Otis was very good for the starting ones though. Was she? There's no gloom on her. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Look at all that aggro. <laughs> Alright, so other Blossom Star. Uh, right, so these are all to the wings. Body is going to be dodging. Okay, let's do some one sided attacks here first. Then we're going to pop ourselves one times Rhyme Shank to beat this. Then we can continue Unga Boom going this body part over here. Favor to win. And then we have a second favor to win here. The rest of you just focus down the wings. Focusing down the wings seems to be the main strat. Please don't lose. This is so punishing! <laughs> I'm very close to getting staggered on the Otis really. Okay, wings have fully regenerated. I think popping a sun shower here is not too bad of an idea. 
there's no way to reduce her amber. Like, how am I supposed to reduce the amber count? Does she just stack amber forever? This is such. Oh. It's like he's skating forever. Is it a DPS race? Okay, wait, wait. I've generated a crap ton of aggro here. Let's see what I can do. I want to one side here. I want to hit here. I want to hit here. Which skill is attacking me is that body over there. Give some weight. You might not even need to clash that. Two skills. Okay, you people don't need to clash this one. Masalt can take it, I think. We just hardcore go for the wings maybe. Maybe that's the strat. I really want to just destroy those wings. But the burn, the burn is destroying me. Okay, Masao can eat that. I think we can just eat that. I'd rather just DPS down the, the wings. I don't think you bring K-Corp Blue here. Actually, K-Corp Blue. How do you mention it? Kill the wing. Thank you, Ting Tang. Dark shadow lingers in the center. What? Oh, the check is to low. The check is to roll lower. Huh? What? Is this a bug? Oh, it is bro lower. That's so weird. Why is it bro lower? <laughs> okay, this is unclashable. Shimmering Ember. I'm really at max, but... Uh, I don't... This, this boss fight is very confusing. I have rip space, I have rip space. The wings are broken, so let's just keep focusing down those wings. Struggling here, dominating. And then this one is hitting Masol, this one's hitting Masol, and. And Stoke the Flames is hitting all. Okay, you know what, Masol, you just eat all of that for me, alright? I don't want to deal with it right now, I'm busy. Wait, are the wings weak to pierce? Oh my god, they were weak to pierce? <laughs> yeah, random assault does not work out if he does not have 45 SP. But he generates a lot of aggro, so this is actually like super comfy. Oh, 
Alright, Masalt, keep generating aggro. That's all I need you to do. Just die for me. Okay, I don't have Rhyme Shang. Who could possibly win this ego here? With a 20 something on it. Can Sun Shower win it? Hell yes, it can. Rodion, take some hits or so. Uh, the rest of you just focus down the body. Actually, no, there's only like. Yeah, never mind. It's just like two parts anyway. Just keep focusing this part here. I want to pop teleport so I can get my rip space. So we use it here. And then we use this to win. Oh, okay, that works. Why am I using this again? Oh, right, for that. I think Kei Hong is actually really good here. <laughs> yeah, Kei Hong Lu is actually really good here. Cause if I want to just feed that guy like 1 billion hits, he can take it. And the burn just doesn't do shit to him. It actually might be the way. Kei Hong Lu plus um oh Rhino I mean Rhino is fine I just need to get the farm insanity earlier on the clam the clam is not so hard to fight oh that's gonna hurt how's our HP HP looks fine I think we will not be burning to death anytime soon oh right I forgot he spreads burn so I need to be careful with that can I kill him in this turn I suspect I can he's only at one speed Time to destroy his ass. Six tremor count, attack here, one side here, one side here. Uh, rip space here on the wings. Uh, do that, rip space here, and then here, and then here. And we should be done. Yep, that should be a kill. Assuming most of the things here will hit. And if I fail to kill, well, that's probably a reset because this is a really bad situation if I do not get a kill here. Yeah, but the AoE hitting twice, very, very good. Spice Bush, extremely good here, for sure. Break and die. No. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. 14 HP left for me. Alright. Okay, so aggroing with Rhino is pretty good here. Uh, Kei Hong Lu probably pretty comfy to clear this one with. And then uh, Spice Bush very good because of AoE. I guess Regret might be good here. No, Regret? Eh, I don't know about Regret. Ah, I'll think about it later. Anyway, what's the next fight going to be? It's going to be these guys. I think it's like Pierce. Oh, it's going to be Phase 1, Phase 2! <laughs> Uh, what's the weaknesses of Ahab again? I can't remember. I can't remember what Ahab is weak to. Uh, main story. Let's see. Main story, Limbus Kusoge. Uh, evil Defining. Let's see. Uh, into the Dark? No. Is it the Pallet Whale? No, it's not Pallet Whale. What the hell is it? It's not rocks either. Oh, did they not upload it? They might have not uploaded it. Uh, what is Ish what is Ahab weak to? I can't remember. Does anyone remember what Ahab is weak to? Shoot this might clear hard. Why can't we clash Ahab? The Ahab trio is mostly Pierce weak. Ah, okay, Pierce weak. In which case, let's bring Shoot this, right? Uh, let's bring along Shootis. Uh, who else do we bring along? Uh, we bring Spice Bush. I feel like it wouldn't be right to not bring Ishmael. But we don't particularly. I mean, sinking the Luish question mark? Just for funsies, why not? Okay, so we got piercing, piercing. Eh, it's not you. Uh, piercing, piercing. 
uh, a bit of piercing, 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 piercing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, roughly around there. And then we put in Ninclair for any other fight that we don't particularly need. Passive, passive. Uh, do I even need your passive? What's your passive again? At the end, uh, gain more speed. Not particularly bad. Can't remember any Masons with good passives. Uh, whatever, it should be fine uh, with this one. If they're mostly weak to piercing, then this should be okay. Shoot this plus regret fouls, you say? Hmm. Plus regret fouls? Oh, they are. Yeah, it is a wave battle. No, but, it, but when you get to the second phase of Ahab, it's not going to be a wave battle anymore. So she falls off. Where Grippy's gripping is actually really good for that one. Because we are using a primarily blood pierce team. I think it should be fine. And we just go with this first. We'll theorize later when we actually see what's going on. Uh, for Pallet, uh, bring you. We need to like, farm sanity for the people we actually want to bring for the final fight. Uh, Slash, I believe they resist, so Ryoshu might fall off a bit. Grippy, I want to farm sanity now. No, she doesn't really need that. She found sanity pretty easily. Reindeer? Rabbit. Oh my god, this is actually so annoying because now I added Otis. Now I need to rethink the deployment. You can farm sanity fast with fluid sack later. Okay, yeah, I have fluid sack later, so it doesn't really matter what I do now. Yeah, I have fluid sack. It's fine. Fast will restore the sanity later. These guys are weak to Blunt, yeah. So Blunt is still the play here. What the hell? Huh? Oh, four speed, okay. Sorry, I thought I was look I thought I was going crazy for a second there. Like something you can try to win here. Oh, you can try to win that one. Okay. There are six targets to hit. Uh. Actually, it doesn't really matter. These guys have like 60 something HP. They have 91 HP, so. Oh, it's a wave battle. Okay, hold on, it's a wave battle. I don't want to bring Rabbit for a wave battle. Rabbit's for the bossing later, so it's going to be the Ahab fight, then we bring Rabbit. So this is a wave battle. You, you. Wave, wave, wave. Not you, you. They're weak to blood, actually. Weak to blood, resistant to slash, if I remember correctly, but it's not by that much, so you can just unga bunga anyway. Uh, Ryoshi is better than for Unga Bunga. Okay, this should be fine. I think shoot this should be extremely good here. Yeah. Because it's a wave battle. I think Regret Faust is also a viable option if you wanted to bring Regret Faust. Because I believe these guys are still weak to blunt, right? Yeah, so it's still going to do a crazy amount of damage anyway. But you would give up Grippy for the final fight, which I find a little bit uh, unfortunate. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna retry. Let's go mid max for me. Oh, let's see. Mm, favorite. Dominating no matter what. Resist slash by what? 0.5. Okay. So resist slash by 0.75. Put you here. This one is attacking in clear. This one is on here. Okay. <laughs> Can Rabbit Heath keep up in 3? No, cannot. Unless you use body sack a lot. Ah, Ting Tang will be really good actually, yeah. 
I think that would be a good option here if I wasn't using him for my passive. <laughs> okay, let's do some math. <laughs> I hate math. Alright, who needs sanity here? You need sanity here. So do go and clash with this for me. Spice bush, I need to one-sidedly hit or kill something. Yoshu, that should kill. 63 damage, this is 48. This is 51. 51? 32, yeah, that actually kills. Then this is 42. Need one more person to hit this. 74 onto this. And then we can shoot this dude here. With our whopping one magic bullet. Love to see it. Someone needs to clash this. Let's clash with you. Then who will clash with this? Let's clash with you. Then you can shoot this. Oh, he had two protection. Alright, these are negative coin IDs, so the lower sanity they get, the stronger they become. Ah, oh, another painful. Oh, then Claire's not good here either, because he just generates so much sanity from this. Okay, okay. Uh, try not to try not to hit with, try not to clash with Sinclair if possible. Uh, I believe all of you are weak to piercing. Yep, very good. Hit you with my uh, sun shower. Yeah, I want to keep building up bullets, so I'm just gonna sun shower here. Sun shower, are you weak to sloth as well? One times weak, 1.2 times with sun shower. What's the stagger threshold? What is the stagger threshold? I can't see it. Oh, there. Okay, yeah, they are 100% staggered. So at this point, I can just split up the damage a little bit here. If I wanted to get a little bit more sanity farming going. Something like that could work out. Uh, something like this works out. And then uh, you can hit this, and you can hit this, sure, why not? Any other AoE moves? Not really. Stop, 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 stop! Good, very nice. Overkill. Alright, we got mine with mine with guarantee kills this. Uh, pound that guy. Okay, don't pound that guy. You pound this guy. You hit this guy. Uh, how many bullets? Two bullets? Okay, you hit that guy, and then you can uh, hit with this, sure, I think. Okay, 
맞는 거야. 맘. 다시 못 살게 되는 일은 없을 것이오. 일타 이피 맞지? 다른 일은 스탑해 줄게. 다 죽어라. Alright, perfectly calculated. Very good. 내가 배고파했어. Okay, these guys. Um, I would rather not use one more sun shower here if possible. Let's see. Clash win if take pallet noise. Uh, what's their stagger threshold at? Stagger threshold is at fifty percent life, but they only have hundred forty four. So hundred forty four divided by fifty eight divided by two is uh seventy two. I need to do seventy two damage to each of them. So that means one of you would crack him immediately, so I don't need to clash this guy anymore. And then besides that, um, if I do one more spice push, what will I be down by? I'll be down by a lot of gloom, which means no rhyme shank for the next fight. What about Ebony stem? If I pop Ebony, I'll be down by not a lot. I don't mind committing Ebony. Uh, who is attacking her? Is anyone attacking her? No, no one's attacking her. Damn, that's annoying. Okay, in that case, we just do a one-sided ebony. Then we have to do our regular clashing for everything else. This one's attacking. Real shoe. Favor. This one's attacking. Dichi. This one's attacking Dichi again. Okay, something like this should work out in our favor. Okay, not if I roll his like that. That's fine, their damage output is not that high. Close to the stagger threshold. This AOE here ought to do it. Uh, one side attack that. One side attack that. Uh, focus down that. Focus down this. And you can focus down this. Sure, that should roughly be enough. Wouldn't Clash Speed go against you here? I, I mean, I, I'm not min-maxing super hard, guys. I, I, I just want to get the sub-100. If you want speed runs, you're gonna have to watch someone else. I just want to roughly get it right. Just climb over the other Blossom wall. Our heave being so good for the check save me. These guys have 4 attack weight. I mean, my AoE just hit 3 of them, so... And Sing might be happy by the end of this. Okay, we're on number X. Let's take a look at number X. Uh, it's Ishmael. So for Ishmael, we are bringing our Piercing Gang as well as some of our Blunters. So probably drop you. Uh, bring you. Bring you. Do we bring Reindeer? It feels, it feels weird to not bring Ishmael to kill her own fight. Uh, I feel like I want to bring her. I feel like I really do want to bring her. Oh, I can't wait for Captain to drop. There, there has to be a reason, man, for this last one. Okay, so you get a Sanity Farm stage beforehand. S Sinclair is quite happy to be here. Uh, I think I just guard, right? Because I gain a Magic Bullet. That's a bit crazy though, to just guard. Pop a sun shower just to wipe them out. What's that stagger threshold at? Stagger threshold is at like 50%, so I need to do 70-ish something damage. Are they weak to sloth? No, endure sloth, so this will not do it. Uh, gonna have to clash sloth. Mm, focus you down. Focus you down. Focus you down. Focus you down. Focus 
Maybe we just pop two and just hug them all out. This will surely not come back to bite me in the butt later when I'm fighting Gihab. Casual 200 damage. All staggered, now I just don't need to worry about anything. Okay, so now I want to save ammunition. I might just do body sack. Mm, nah, we have to save the body sack. Uh, we will evade with you. Okay, we just need to make sure all of you die. So let's split up and get some resources. Uh, I don't mind using my skill tree here just to get a little bit more uh, bullets for later. Alright, hello, hello. You only have 600 HP, so you're not particularly hard. But I, if I remember correctly, the order was to kill uh, Starbuck, Quick Quack, Ahab in that order. I was not sure if there was another way to uh, to make this fight a little bit faster. Uh, Stagger Threshold, 75%. Stagger Treasure, Stagger Treasure. Hmm. Uh, how does she force Quick Quack to tank for her? I don't remember. Apply one undefiable command. Reset uh, speed to zero. When it's using Stagger, reset to zero. Order Quick Quack to activate assist defense next turn. Yeah, okay, okay. So that's how she pulls it to you. Uh, should be Starbuck first, I think. Do I have Tremor? I do not have Tremor, so I would like to build up Tremor. So... What's your dodge? 13. Heal 10 SP for self and one other ally with the least SP. What's the play here? I actually don't know the best way to speedrun this, unfortunately. Uh, all I remember is focus down the squishy one first. Can pop a sun shower here to hit all of them. That will also help me ignore the annoying dodge. And we can flash this. What are you weak to? Don't know. Okay, just think that we don't know. Fire the bullet. Ah, regret. Yeah, regret is actually really good here. Because you can hit both of them. All of them weak to blunt. Here comes the magic bullet. Uh oh, I shot myself. Wait, no. Okay, no, I was a bit scared there because he shot the other way. All the quick quack to activate defense. All the star bug to activate. Uh, doesn't really matter. We're gonna do another body sack this turn. All the star bug to assist. On use, apply pre mark next turn. 
target this unit? Who can I make them target? Hmm. I think Sang Yi. Uh, make them target Sang Yi. One sided attack here, flashing ability here, multi attack here. Something like that. Start spamming Rhyme Shang, I can't. I don't have enough gloom. Yep, that's the play. I'm gonna kill Starbuck first. Alright, with quick suppression in my hand, uh, if this unit has more than zero assist barriers. How much assist barriers does she generate again? I don't remember. I remember someone told me how this works. She will counter attack you based on how many assist levels she has or something. More than zero assist barriers. How does how do they get assist barriers? That's the problem. I can't remember. How do they get assist barrier? Weak to gloom, weak to piercing, and Ahab is weak to piercing as well. Or oh, weak to pride and piercing also. Uh I'm a bit afraid. <laughs> because I can't remember how the assist barrier shit works. Counter attacks. If this scene has more than zero, activate assist defense. And assist defense is unlimited slot weight. Maybe AOE is not that good here because of the slot weight mechanic at the end. Eh? Well, either way, oh, this gets pulled to her also, so I cannot kill him. And this has infinite slot weight, right? So if I were to. If I were to use this, would it still hit? No, it won't. It gets pulled to this because this has unlimited slot weight. So AoE is actually not that helpful. You have to kill quick quick, I think. Uh, does evasion work here? I, ne I never really bothered to test out mechanics, which is why I'm a bit sussy right now. Assist barrier is in the counter skill. Oh, you're right. That's where you get it. Okay. Oh, it prevents on Ahab, not Starbuck. Okay. Yep, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're absolutely right. So Ahab, so Starbuck is definitely dead with this one skill here. Yeah, definitely did. There's no way my rabbit fails to kill with that, so I'm going to all in the rest onto this dude over here. How are we on the mind whip department? Pretty good. <laughs> Maximum trust in rabbit. That guy is dead. <laughs> oh, shim the machine, don't you? This is gonna hurt. That's right, Ishmael, kill your former teammate, go. Okay, dodging with Isang does not work. Good to remember. I do understand why she got staggered, but I'll take it. Oh, sometimes it works. Okay. Oh, 
I mean, whatever the case is. Alright, quick suppression again. Let's absolutely destroy her. Bam, 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 Order Starbuck to activate on use, be fearless. Uh, can someone clash that for me? Rose of 19. He played, he got nothing to do. Go and clash that for me. Uh, gripping, very good. 99 here, very good. I need to make sure she's dead. How many bullets? Four. Okay. AOE? AOE available. Okay, very good. In that case, the rest of you can go and hit the shield over here. Wait, doesn't die once. I forgot. Shit. These calculations were made. Matanera. Alright, uh, we got the smash ability here. We got the mind whip available again. Uh, uh, if I dodge this, does it actually pull it? Hmm? Nah, it doesn't. Damn. Even this thing doesn't work either. Uh, just one side with this. No point in being. Just use cut the grass now, I guess. I'm running low on last resource, so I can't really use body sack too many more times. Uh she should be fine. Might not be fine. Oh well, if all dies I'll just figure out something later, it's fine. is dead, I mean, expected, whatever. I knew she was gonna die. Uh, okay, so now do we have enough tremor? We 
do not have enough shaman. Let's do some AoEs here. Something like this should work out. No, I mean, I, I knew that Toss was gonna die, right? Oh well, roughly knew. So just for the final fight, just don't bring Puffs. Oh my god, he flipped you are so bad at damaging quick burn. Quick not dead yet. Okay, that's me with that. That's fine by me. Dominating. Please let this just be the end of Quick Quack. I'm so done with her. Okay. Now I need a good ego to clash this one over here. Snack Harpoon. Go. Gang Chung. Snack Harpoon lost. They did, holy shit, quick quick. Okay, 13 turns to kill these guys. That's probably a more optimal strat, but I'll figure that out later. DPS, 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 go, go, go. Yeah. 
여행에는 목적이 있었지. 오, oh, man. That was a pain. Alright, so what is our total turn count? 57, yeah, like, it's, it's, it's just super easy. Oh yeah, I forgot, you can actually revive them after you fight this boss. Uh, here we go. Again. Um, DG. DG? Mostly weak to piercing and blunt, if I remember correctly. Do I want DG or do I want Mur? Mur might be more comfy. No, probably DG. Sang. Otis. Yeah, sure. Whatever. We'll just try this. We'll just try this. Alright. Let that music hit now. Oh! なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。なる気分なんだ。な
This was swallowed by the sea. Ship with thee. Get Okay, next phase. Hold on Compass is curiosity Curiosity Hopeless Hopeless Anything neutral, strike me down. Oh, are these hard to win? Oh, these are hard to win. Dodge this then. Favorite. Hopeless. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, uh, Shifty's not that good here. Need the more damage output. Oh yeah. Sail. Should I put slashing? Need to check again the resistances. Slashing? No, slashing was definitely not the play. Oh, but pride though and envy though. Ah, uh, maybe it was okay. It was tolerable. What's the ref res? Ref res is 1.2. Okay, ref is like very good here. Compass is swallowed by the sea. Compass is swallowed by the sea. So, yeah, friendship between me. This one is dodging. Price of a bullet. This one's neutral. Oh, it's neutral. Oh, it's struggling. The hell? What happened here? Your evil's pretty fine. Hold on, time. Compass is curiosity. Compass is curiosity. So it looks like the last two Ishmael fights are meant to burn your turns, huh? From what I can tell. Because it does take quite a while to shred through them. <laughs> what the? Did I not read something? What happened there? Target does not have prey mark. Inflict one prey mark. Oh, I guess I read it wrongly or something. How do I make him lose Starbucks Eagle? Oh, prey mark clashing. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just unga bunga you. I don't want to think too much. Check job, I'll get 
Right, that's a reset. Plus, she shot the other way. Okay, Otis, not good. Do not bring Otis for this. This is not good. Regret Faust was the better option, and even then, Grippy is still the, the most consistent option. Uh, probably want to bring you. Enemy is weak to which elements again? Not Gloom. Unfortunately, it is not Gloom. It is Wrath, Pride, and Envy. Wrath, Pride, Envy. Wrath, Pride, Envy. Not you. Actually, Pride is fine, but your coins are too low. You are good, but Slash is rest. But it doesn't matter. As long as the time we're gonna stagger them, then rip space. Reindeer Ishmael is Wrath. Gloom, Envy, not too bad, not too terrible. Yisang... Yisang might go. It's not bursty enough. I think this might be the final team. Let's go back again. There are no cycles because the turn requirement is much, much lower, yes. See, dominating. Let's leap. Uh, for this move here, we need to pop an eagle. Let's do a teleport dawn. Classic combo. Setting sail. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Don. Thank you very much, Don. Let's retry. Alright. We go again. Alright. Neutral. One side, please. One side. Good. Snack, how are you? Okay. No body sack. No more Yisang either. Ah, what a pain. Wait, this hitting. Oh, this does not work then. You? No. You? Sure. Fine, we'll do it. Let's By the sea. By the sea. Shape between. Never trust a telephone to do what a snack harpoon will do.
I need to use an eagle here because I do not want to restart. This fight is so long that restarting is just a huge pain in the ass. Ishmael. 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 You had snag. Alright, we hit the stagger. Let's go. DPS time. Self. Alright, go. Rip. Ah, we lost, so we don't have enough charge this turn. Not enough charge either, because you lost. Freaking Ishmael. All your fault. Huh? I just wasted three bullets. <laughs> Dichi, who else are you pulling? You're pulling one move. Thank you for your aggro. You'll do this. Okay, there. That will do it. No, I want to split up the marks. Do I? Do I actually care about the mark? What's the mark do again? Mark is... Takes 50% more damage from the crew. Okay, let's not let that mark it. No, not hit. Uh, don't... I want to split the mark. I want to split the mark. Uh, this one is hard to win. I don't want the bleed. I also don't want this to hit. Holy shit, just dodge, oh my god. I'm so dumb. I'm actually so dumb. There. So I need to get marked with the prey mark, and then I need to clash the moves with the prey mark. That's the mechanic here. Okay, pray mark, pray mark, pray mark. So now I need to clash with pray mark. Decreases for every coin destroyed in clash against targets with pray mark. And I have to target these. Okay, okay. We're getting it, we're getting it. I'm remembering this fight now. Okay, let's see. Body sack. Pray mark as well. Not 100%. Let's not risk that. Also, not 100%. Let's do this. Okay, that should win most of the time. 
Okay, then the rest of you do whatever the hell you want. Okay, need to clash again with the two Primarchs. Uh, Primarchs is Ishmael. Snake Harpoon win it. Snake Harpoon will win it. Yeah. And Body Sack will win it as well. Okay. Not 100% though. Ninclair, I'm gonna need you to actually corrode. Wait, what's the corrosion chance actually? <laughs> I'm in a conundrum. That will corrupt him. I beg of you, body sack. Don't fail me now. Pretty fine. Your evil's pretty fine. Hold on, time. Come, this is curiosity. Come, this is curiosity. Yane Tamajuji! Alright. Yahoo. Bum 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 bum. Ah. No, it's both Rio Shu. It's both Rio Shu. <laughs> So unlucky, holy shit. Now I have to dodge. He going first. No. 196 damage, 36, 36. I have to shoot you, otherwise, we won't kill. Uh. Just 72 and now we don't kill you. Right, one more turn to kill 10 HP. Love to see it. Swallow by the sea. Swallow by the sea. Why are you losing? Guarded then. Last phase. Oh, 
of this piece again. Quick quacks, lose value when without shield or when using bleach atonement. Okay. Uh, when without a shield or when using bleach atonement. I did not bring a healing ego. Oh my goodness. I chose like one of the most annoying things ever. I need Dichi to eat these hits for me. Use this skill once for every 10 used. Gain value if she does lose value when without shield or when using bleached atonement. Someone's gotta die here. If I want to clear this in some decent amount of time, someone has to die here. Bleach Atonement Curiosity Curiosity How much charge do I have? 11 if I have 11, should be okay. Let's pop a snack harpoon, beat this one in. Clouded path. How much damage is this? It's a bunch of piercing, very annoying. Let's do this. So dodge, dodge, okay. I wonder if it's better to actually just burn out the quick quick thing first. But that was not correct. Hey, isn't Ishmael supposed to be immortal here? Ah, oh, they removed Ishmael's immortality for refraction. They know Ishio is not immortal. I actually thought that she might have been immortal, so she would have lived that, but turns out that's not really the case. Oh, I don't want to restart. I really don't want to restart. <laughs> Oh, that's a lot of damage!
<laughs> Ich wär mal zu Motto. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Healing. Get the healing. Alright, we get the healing. Oh my god, I don't want to micro rabbit either, but the quick suppression is extremely helpful for when it actually works. Is spice bush necessary? Since Ishmael's not immortal, Mind Whip is still good though, right? Is Mind Whip still good on this tractor? Mind Whip is 1.2, yeah, still pretty good, yeah. So I think Ishmael is still a very good damage dealer. The two charge characters are still great, of course. Spice Bush, yeah, no, Spice Bush doesn't cut it, never mind. I think we talked about this before, but I need a healing ego, so who do I sacrifice for the healing ego? Uh, probably DG. Probably DG. Gotta be a Rhino here. To give me some sort of healing so I can brute force a little bit. I think just bring Konglu, people. Just bring Konglu. Snag Apun is which one again? It's Gloom plus Ref, right? There are two Ref to Gloom, okay. So this is the main one I'll be spamming. Everyone else, just Unga Bunga the boss. Just straight up Unga Bunga this guy. Bring Kong Lu near the end will make your run quite a bit comfortable compared to what I'm going through right now. I want to activate my rip space. I'm gonna pop regret one time so I can get the coin power for future. Then we can't build space, we just keep hitting the dodge area. The only thing that makes this fight always tolerable is just the banger song in the background and nothing else. Otherwise I would just straight up not I would just be like ah. Oh. Cause this shit is just painful. Quick suppression coming up, body sack, go forth. Uh, grip space, go forth. Deader, do this. Struggling, attack the one sided. One win, mind whip, one win, attacking who? Ryoshu, Ryoshu go here. This one attacking Dawn. Neutral. Sure, we got coin power plus two anyway.
것들이 흔들흔들 기회식 아냐? 바이더시 컴퍼스 스워드 바이더시 How much? 174138 Okay, the rest is overkill already Don't need to sacrifice all of the other good skills here This should be enough assuming all rule hits Yep, yeah, more than enough actually Hold on to... Alright, this one is what again? Ah, pre mark. Okay, it's the pre mark shit again. Dun, 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 dun. Who are the characters I want to be clashing next round with the pre mark? You. You? I'm getting lead next turn, I think that's fine. Dominating. Struggling. Okay, should be fine. Relationship with you, you and me. It's pretty fine. Your evil's pretty fine. That was a pretty optimal turn. <laughs> Alright, then Claire, who are you hitting today? Why? Always view shoe! Every time! Okay, let's skip the phase. I don't want to do this shit no more. How are you doing on bullets? Fine, okay. Do we have enough to kill? 53, 29, 44, 41, 72, I might need this one, 54, 50, 40, uh, still not enough, but there's still fragility being applied here, maybe, no, that just breaks even, there's nothing that makes the damage more, oh, uh, whatever, whatever, we'll just finish it off a little bit afterwards, it's always Ryoshu.
Why do you roll? Because the sanity was low. I didn't check. Oh! Slowly but surely, I am losing my brain cells playing this game. How do I kill another 5 coins? I don't even have pre marks. This is actually. What am I doing? I am actually distorting from playing this game. Holy shit, I'm so mad. Mostly at myself. Which move is this? I can't even intercept Fine, one sided, one sided, whatever. Listen guys, if you're talking about like record breaking final team comms, right? Like those don't there's like a million resets behind those, so don't always assume that you'll be easily able to get all of them. Okay, this one is which one? The quick quack one, right? Okay, what is my strat for quick quack? I don't want to eat the counters. Can I just chill out? Can I just like keep dodging him? Like, what's the play here? What do I do here? Hope win rate players will enjoy this event? I don't know about that one. What is the play here anyway? I'm just, like... The only way to make him lose is to wait for Bleach Atonement. So I have to wait until Bleach Atonement comes, that's the only way to make him lose e Ego, uh, the Quick Quack resource. Otherwise, I have to break the shield and eat all the counters every single time. If you have enough damage, you should nuke the shield. Oh boy. I need one more sloth resource, are you kidding me? Okay, 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 okay. So we just need to nuke that fat shield to zero and eat a bunch of damage and then we will be able to to clear this. Yes. I should have brought Kong. <laughs> I should have brought Kong Lu. <gasps> Lee rip. So I'm gonna eat a crap ton of damage here. And I'll generate one sloth here to give me my pursuance. On the shield. Yeah. 
I'm absolutely regretting the false death right now. Absolutely regretting false death. What is the corrosion chance? I am in great danger. I'm going to resort to dodging now. I can't even block with Masalt. Masalt is not the tank. This is not the play. Losing my sanity playing this game. Actually losing it. Rhino Ram can't even win, right? Yep, Vassal is so fucking garbage. Holy shit. Just just get hit by the bleach or something, I guess. The beast does the less damage, to, the least damage to you. All right, let's go with the absolutely slowest strat, which is waiting for all of the bleach to come out. He rolled heads with negative 22 SP on all 4 coins. He rolled heads on 4 coins with negative 22 SP. Holy shit. There are no words for this fight. Okay. No. On the wall, guys. I found the wall. No, 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 no. I did not want to retry. I did not want to retry. Go back, go back, go back. Fuck, Masol. Masol is dog shit. Get out. You're out. 
Karun Kibun Napa. Get the salt out of here, holy shit. Actually worthless. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. We just need to tactically get staggered at the end, okay? We just need to save all of our big nuke buttons until that last fight. So the trick is you just want to bring a nuke button to the next fight so that you can go and nuke the boss and get to that stagger so the boss will die faster. Okay, okay. We just keep going and we figure things out. We're just figuring it out as we go. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. This is totally and perfectly fine. We just don't need we just don't need healing, okay? We just need to tactically get staggered. So I just need to stagger people occasionally. And if I just plan the staggers enough, we can get through this. I am not restarting three stages just because of one stage. We can do this, I just need to not lose my clashes. Swallow by the sea Relationship within you and me Your evil's pretty fine no 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 we aren't going back we are not going back we do not go back we can do this we just need to get staggered and we just need to not die no healing just need to use my brain like five times more than i've already been like not using it Okay, first phrase, super simple. Now we just need to make sure I don't dump all of my big nukes on this turn here. Let's see. What do I need to commit to make sure he dies? I have one deader here. Do I have any other ones coming up? I do. I have rip space coming up. So I want to use this. 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 And I want to use deader just to ensure that he dies and then we can commit one grass. So that we can make sure he is dead. So 179, 36, uh, 74. Yeah, that's that's about death for really. Okay, we are good. We are good. We are good. First phase, super easy. It's like what? Three turns or two turns. Okay, he's actually just dead. Already on the dead order. You don't need to use the DC one, but it's fine with DC. We can nuke the, the, the sanity a little bit. 41. Doesn't really matter, she goes back to 45. There's no point. Alright, second phase, second phase, whatever, whatever. How many turns was the first phase we took to clear? It took four turns to clear first phase. Three turns left, three turns. Three turns to clear first phase. Okay. Who is going to be the main clasher for later? I would say it's going to be Dichi. So Dichi go and clash. We are going to use the Mind Whip here. Yep, I agree. Okay, Ryoshu, you are drawing absolute dog shit. You will not do anything. We will use this. We're gonna do Rip Space. We're gonna do Body Sack. Unopposed. Okay, flash that. This one is what? This? Okay, you just dodge then. Doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, okay, we we'll just do this. He was pretty fine. Hold on, time. 
Is this railway really that hard? No, 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 no. It's just this one Ahab uh, third phase that I just need to use my brain a little bit more and not bring Basalt. Because Basalt is absolute donkey doo doo. Okay, okay, help we're all healthy. We are very healthy this run. It's very good really, it's very good run. Okay, we can get to the stagger threshold this turn. All I need to do is win. Okay. This and this. Alright, both will dominate and then we clash with this. Uh you can't really clash, you just hit one sidedly, you can't clash either, you also hit one sidedly and uh, I think I will actually save this rip space for later. This one's gonna hit Dawn, but she doesn't take that much from piercing, right? Yeah, 0 0.5 from piercing, that's fine. Okay, everything looking good here. That's good. We hit the stagger threshold with just this two. Unless he decides to not roll two coins hits. Okay, snack up one plus my whip. Should be enough to drop him to half. No, it's not enough. Keep clip these two coins. Okay, Lichi, go, punch her. Okay, we'll get the stagger treasure anyway. We get there, we get there. Then next turn, we just full Unga. Okay, we are 1 HP off Stagger Threshold, apparently. Never mind, we hit the Stagger. Okay, Rift Space, we are going to save that. Did I just draw Quick Suppression again? On 6 speed? I will not look a Gift Force in the mouth. Use the skill 1. Uh, use the Gloom skill. No, this one. Uh, use this one. And use this one. Is that enough to kill? Yes, it is quick suppression, so it should be enough to kill no matter what. We do not need to use rip space here. There we go. Are we a bit short? Oh, we might be a bit short. No, 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 wait, that's nice. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Last phase, we have rip space in the hand. We can tactically try to nuke the shield on turn 1 and then get staggered for Dawn. And then after that, the rest, we just tactically stagger them, okay? We can totally unga bunga this. Absolutely unga bunga -able. Okay, my Dawn starts here, which is very unfortunate because I don't want to eat so much damage on all of the members yet. I might just have to... Mm. I don't want you to hit. Can you dodge this? I think you can. Okay, dodgers get to dodging. After rip space goes, then we will hit it with these two over here. I think that's going to be the play. Do I need a little bit more damage to guarantee the destruction of the shield? That's my one issue now. I'm a bit afraid that this might not be enough. But I also don't want to get hit with Ninclair yet. I also want him to heal a bit of SP, he's about to corrode. I think this is the play. I think this is the play. Save if Cliff 1, third phase week with Pierce. Plus more. Tactical staggering, yeah. Tactical staggering indeed. Okay, I don't think we can do enough damage, unfortunately. Oh, it, it might be like one off. It might be one. Okay, we did it. Holy shit, perfect, perfect. Tactically staggered. The rest of you dodge, dodge. Okay, okay, we only have 20 to go. Only 20 more to go. Alright. 4 to 14. I want you to dodge this. Can you dodge that? 7... 
I don't remember if you can touch that. Alright, Dawn. I don't have any big nukes right now. How do I break 20 shield with no big nukes? I think this, 55 damage. Ninclair, once again a useless turn. I think I might want to guard... No, I cannot guard any of these. What do I do here? Hmm... Okay. I can tactically stagger with her. Fourth match, question mark. Because it is piercing, and I believe she's weak to wrath as well, so this will do quite a bit of damage. Rodi, I need you to go and get staggered as well. Okay, then where are the rest of these hitting? They will be hitting Dawn. Okay, this. I cannot guard this, I will die. I cannot get hit by that, I will also die. Okay, that wins. Okay. Wait, 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 I'm getting very confused now. What? Uh, okay, this. And then Rodi can just keep punching, doesn't matter for Rodi. Defense skill for her. Concentrated. Win, win. Okay, pull the aggro off of Dawn. This plus this plus this. Plus all of this. Yeah, that should break the shield. That should break the shield. Okay, that should break the shield. Okay, that's fine. Rabbit can take that damage. Okay, branch of knowledge. Base damage. Okay, fine. That's fine. We take those. Okay, other blossom. This should do, I think, 80 ish damage. 57. Okay, that's enough. It broke, the, it broke it. Alright, excellent, excellent. And this is a free hit. And she failed to dodge. Mm, okay, there's only five shield left. There's only five shield left. Who here is willing to get staggered again? I think from Heathcliff onwards, we can let them get staggered. So we're gonna leap here. Oh dear. Hmm. Okay, I can take a hit with you. Totally fine. Blunt plus gloom? No. Blunt plus pride. Okay, pride. Yes. Slash. It's slash. Unfortunately, 0 0.5 no matter what. Ah, whatever, whatever. Okay. I don't want Rabbit to take any hits here. If only 5, that should be enough to break that shield. 10% max HP as shield and then additional Do I? I think I actually do just shoot the body sack, the body sack. I think with 4 people this is barely enough to break that shield Yeah, it's a pretty sizable shield also And with my elements and the Coinage, I don't think I can break the shield, so I'm gonna have to take some staggers here. It's fine, he resists the piercing anyway, it doesn't do that much on him. Okay. So Ryoshu is probably gonna get staggered again. Oh! Okay, did not counter attack. Is that because we broke through the quick quick shield part? I think we did. Okay, all shield broken. Alright, no more quick quick. We did it. No healing required. Just brain power. Lots of brain power. Alright, DPS time. Let's go. How many bullets? Four bullets left. 
Yeah, that's fine. We can afford four bullets. Oh, rip space, unfortunate. Uh, but it's fine. We got lead. Not dead or turn, unfortunate. So, mine whip turn at least. Okay. Lots of damage coming out here. Mm. Oh my goodness. At least apply the fridge. <sighs> now you all don't have like a lot of sanity, but roll more hits, please. I want to get out of here. Unlucky and unlucky. Holy shit, who is he hitting this time? It's both Rabbit. Love to see it. Okay, so Rabbit getting staggered. Okay, uh, that, uh, there won't be any more shield counter bullshits no more. Just dodge. Struggling, hit the counter. Dither, hit this. Wait, why is it so slow? Oh, shit. It's attacking a mark target. And I'm not fast enough to intercept it. Okay. Fried Eagle. Okay. You're not fast enough, so you just one side. You're not fast enough, so you just one side. Okay. Just unga bunga him down. We have almost done. We are almost done with this nightmare. Favored my ass. Plus is by the sea. Plus is swallowed by the sea. Ship with the you and me. Kriso, Karuni and Zambelt, Tarara Guitana. Pretty fine. Your evil's pretty fine. Hold on tight. My compass is curiosity. This is curiosity. This song is the only reason I have not distorted it. Holy shit. Oh, don't die to me! Not again! Not again! I refuse! I refuse! You hear me? I refuse to go back! I refuse! Going back, just accept your death already, you dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't want to go back. Please, please, please. <laughs>
Wait, do we need to go all the way back? We don't. We don't have to go all the way back. Okay, we don't have to go all the way back. We just need to go back one stop. Just one stop. Just one stop to go. Okay, who do I bring for this fight where there's a bunch of buggers to kill? My trusty AoE crew with my charge gang, with my uh, piercer, with my rabbit. Grippy, do you come along? I don't think we need Grippy here. I think that we just sacrifice Spice Bush. Is Spice Bush so dies? I don't care. I don't care if Spice Bush dies because all I need is just files for the last one. Because holy shit, I hate Quick so much. Quick can just go and die. Oh wait, she's already dead. Never mind, just die. Just stay dead. Stay dead. Oh my god. The nightmare I had to suffer because of you. Holy shit. Shoot Otis is good for your 1 to 3. And then after that, uh, 4 to 6 is mostly your uh, sorry 5 to 8 is mostly your uh, it's mostly your slashers I think yeah slash characters Rhino Assault pops off there and then your last three stages the one of the A head you absolutely want a SP maintainer so bring either Home Lu or Faust and then just suffer 7 Faust for the 5 to 8 is pretty good yeah <sighs> I feel very empty inside guys. Very very empty inside. There's a hole inside of me somewhere. At least this painful lesson tells me all I need to know about what you need to bring for an easy run. Oh hell yeah, this is a good round start. Okay, quick suppression round one. Now we are talking. Look at how good the RNG is now. The veteran's harpoon. Whatever shall I do with that? Go and handle that.
Ninclair, kill him. All of you, kill that Starbuck now. I want him dead now, now, now. And he's dead. Third one. Whoops, overkill. We even got charge barrier from that. Crazy. Okay, turn one, remove one obstacle. Turn two. Absolutely dumpster this one right here. Let's go. I say dumpster, I mean dumpster. Dumpster everything, everything, everything. Uh, can you clash that? Of course you can. There's quite a sizable chunk of damage that I'm missing though. Who's he attacking? Oh! Oh, the run is so much more comfy now. Instead of going for QQ, just turbo Ahab after you clear the shield. It's faster than mine. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. I can actually do that. Oh no, my DT Rodion's about to get wheeled on. Whatever shall I do? It's almost like she's ultra thick mm. or something like that. Mm. Oh wait, I should have gone for the Ahab. Uh. Okay, whoops. Should have gone for Ahab uh, after that phase. I guess because you can hit the stagger really easily. What's the evasion even? 3 to 11. Can I even like break through that? It's 4 to 12 though. Oh, but she can't really use it that much. So actually, beelining her to get the stagger is pretty good. At the same time though, Bunga Bunga the quick quick. Oh, 
I mean, I would have been since I started. I started at 11. About. About three, three and a half hours. If I didn't spend all of that time just not wanting to reset, well, probably could be done by now. Okay, welcome back, Quick Quick is now staggered. Who is going to be the one who eats the piercing attacks? Gonna be done. Oh, that's a dead. Quick, quick. Can I tank that? I cannot tank that. I have to clash that. Can someone clash it for me so I don't have to eat that? Isang, you do it. Thank you. You go hit that. Holy shit, she's 1 HP. Whatever, go next. That was a truly I don't need her moment, okay? That was a truly I don't need her. Yes, I know the DG Rodion missing the first coin killed Don. Yes, I know. My coin luck these few runs have been very sad. I have to restart. Right, let's try that they had shred this time. Let's try that they had shred. Let's just try killing her so that she doesn't do this shit to me again. So fun, so fun going through these last two fights. No freaking way I got quick suppression on round one here. Gangchung! Alright, I'm gonna do my reverse 1999 dailies now while this is going on.
날 뛰어보라고! 어, 씹는 맛이 있는데? 내 피가 배고파했어. 잘 됐다. 그치? 내가 눈에 새겨주지. 지금이 기회인 것 같소. 이 스며들 듯한 피. 우산이 새진 않는 것겠소. 야호, 이기는 편, 우리 편. 이 s it easier than the previous RR? Uh, I would say that it actually is easier. It actually is easier. I know I'm like complaining a lot, but honestly, this RR is not that bad. Hitting who? Hitting Ninclair. Hitting Ryoshu. Shut that down right now. And this is hitting Ninclair. That might stagger. We have to shut that down as well. On the pose, we do that one. Let's make sure to get rid of the star buff right now. Is that enough to kill? A little bit overkill. But I think we did that. Oh yeah, especially when that rules like that. Then yeah, that's definitely yeah. Wait, I forgot to bring Faust thing. Oh wait, no, no, sorry. I, my brain is... I swear I'm actually distorting. I, I forgot what I was planning to do, like... Immediately, that's crazy. I'm actually distorting. This is like one rhyme shang. Oh, this is guaranteed death. We will now focus a head down. Yes. Hold on. Okay, Starbuck did. Rodion will eat it. We hit that. Oh, we need to intercept this first. Uh, yeah, so this one here. And that one, one-sided, yeah sure, that's fine, I think. 
Should be fine. He lived. You lost. Okay, die to status effect, sure. That's fine. Gain inside times 20%. I might have to guard actually. Because I'll eat the counter attack if I do it this early. No point doing the AOE now. Use all the soft attacks here, I guess. Question mark. Problem is that counter attack also. Very, very annoying. But she only can trigger it once compared to Ahab. Wait, didn't guard? No, you have to break the shield. Is it? Why is she still aggroing? Is it because she still has the shield? It's because she still has the shield. Ah. <sighs> Holy shit, my head hurts doing this one. Like, like, what's happening? I don't understand. Oh my god. This fight is such a huge pain. Just bring reindeer for more bursts. I think that's the correct answer. But then who's gonna tank the thing when it comes? Who is my pierce resistant on Efflorescent? The HP is 157. It should be Dawn. Dawn has 179 HP. Oh my god. Oh my head. Do I just burst down Ahab? Maybe the stress to burst down Ahab instead. If you break the shield, you should not do it again next turn. They will not nerf this railway tree. This is just me figuring shit out or getting unlucky and I can't figure out which one. in the grand scheme.
키워보지. 좋아. Okay, Blitz Ahab. Okay, Blitz Ahab. Let's change the strat a bit. Maybe that's why I'm suffering so much. It's because I'm trying to do it the quick quick win. Because obviously we gotta kill the captain. Once the captain's down, the rest of the fight is easy. Did I use some shovel again just now? I think I didn't, which is why they're staggered. But they're not dead, which is unfortunate. If I use Sun Shower again, I have nothing. I literally have nothing. <sighs> manual kill, uh, manual kill. I don't care about turns anyway. I don't know what's up with the sun shower rolling tails, man. Just makes me very, very sad. We just use this stage to build up more resources. More, more resources. Go into the next round. Just bring a bunch of resources and we'll get to go. Okay. Alright. Let's check. You can take that. You can't take that. You can't take that. You can't take that. Okay, so there's three moves that I cannot take. But there are two moves that I can take. So. We are going to absolutely bum rush this girl over here. Absolutely just go to town on her. Okay, that's one move down. I need to intercept two more moves. Okay, intercept this move with this. Okay, hit this. And then you intercept 
uh, this one. Okay. No, Ryoshu. I also don't want Yisan to get hit by this. Hmm. Okay. Blood steep scent. Yeah, no, I can't. I can only let one of these through. We are just going to hit this. And then this one will hit Isang on turn 1. I think this actually calls for a tactical stagger. I'll just let Isang get hit and get staggered. Because I will not need him for the rest of the fight, most likely. I think this is the play. We're just going all in on the Easier to survive if sun showered? Really? Oh, you're right. Good point, very good point. In that case, I can actually clash the move and then hit all of them. Which is also perfectly fine, in my case. Uh, okay. So, we're all three of you going here. Who is intercepting the important moves here? This one? Onto Ryoshu, yep, we have to intercept that. Yisang, I need to intercept this as well. And then Yisang can just eat those. Yeah, we sacrifice Yisang. Okay, let's go. Alright, killing the captain was the play. It is the play. With no captain, the crewmates will fall apart. One more coming to Yisang. You should stagger him, yeah. Now mine. Ah, I see. Their passives no longer activate. Okay, now what? I've actually never tried this chat before. So now I can freely target all of them. Is that what's happening here? Because I focused her down. Fully heal HP. Quick Quack and Starbuck no longer activate the Captain's Order passive. Ah, I was not aware that the phase 2, I'm not gonna lie. I've never done this, uh, this uh, stuff before. What does assist attack do? I've also never experienced this before. After he has attack, commence an unopposed attack against the same target he have attacked. Oh. Huh. Can I stagger him to stop that? She'll do assist defense still. Huh? She'll still do assist defense? Oh no, I mean she will, but it won't trigger, right? Because of the passive. Piquet and Starbuck no longer activates Captain's Order's passive. What is the Captain Order's passive? No, wait. Starbuck basically quick suppressions anyone Ahab's targets. Is this supposed to be the right way to clear it? This feels even harder than the regular way. When attacking the same target as Starbuck. When attacking the same target as Quick Quack. Oh, I've never been here before. 
Okay, someone that can resist piercing damage. Okay. I'm not gonna lie guys, I feel like this is actually harder than just doing it the normal way, but at the same time, looks pretty interesting. Let's see how it goes. Man, Ryoshu is absolutely getting destroyed right now. If I intercept this, then Ninclair will get hit by that. But, and I'm gonna get quick suppression by Starbuck. The neat part is that if Ahab dies, the fight is over. Oh, I see. So now if Ahab dies, we win. Oh, so this is how he's supposed to do it. Do we have enough DPS? We do not have enough DPS to stop them from attacking me. And I don't have a good enough tank. I might have to just do this first. And try to stagger some of them. Oh, an interesting strat. But certainly not a stable strat. Apply undefiable command. Okay, they'll still do this thing, but it doesn't matter, right? Because it will not trigger. No fucking way, it's two triggers. This is a terrible strat. Why would I do this strat? I would have to burst Ahab once and then burst her again. This is actually a terrible strat. They just missed my time. This strat is not good. It's very reroll heavy. I'm not doing this. I might as well just do the standard strat because then I only risk one person getting absolutely destroyed. This other strat to just one shot her and then try to kill her fast to get her to... I don't know lah, it, it, it feels super re-rolly. Yeah, K Hong Lu for redirection at the last part there is really really easy, yes. So if you want to try that strat, you definitely do need K Hong for it. Because then after the one turn where you're forced to attack the quick quick shield, then you'll be able to tank it with K Hong, and then you'll be able to one shot Ahab, hopefully. I think the strat's not bad, it's just I have no K Hong right now. So like it's really bad for this team with no K Hong Lu. 
But if you want to really min max your turns, then yeah, I guess that was the way to go. Is there even a point sun showering again? He has no sanity. I might as well build up resources. It's good for all the players that don't want to suffer RNG, yeah. Hey Hong makes the strap very uh, stable. Then you can actually try to reroll for stuff if you wanted to. Because by the time you get there, Kei Hong would probably just do the thing for you. One HP, thank you so much, Isan. You're so good to me. Okay, double space. Right. Is having total turns be 49 at the Mermaids before Ahab's crew manageable? Dude, you're like... It's only 100 turns, by the way. It's only 100 turns. It's only 100 turns, so you are very, very safe already. This one is hitting who? It's hitting Dawn. We can ignore that. Well, preferably not. We can't ignore that. Dominate 
this. Doing search that. Should be enough to half health him and then we finish him off next turn with like a mind whip or something like that. Unless mining player rules like this. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, stagger plus plus. This man will surely die. Burst him all the way down. So we are just going to shoot everything into him. Uh, I might just want to dodge this. Okay, do I have another bit of space? I do not. Dump another one, dump another one. Something like this. I can also do sun shower. Can we hit the stagger threshold with all of this damage? If we go for something like this. Can we skip the guard phase? I think I can. I think I can. Let's try. Can I skip the guard phase just by Unga Boom doing a hand? I think I definitely can get there. If Ninclair can roll pretty well here. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay, it's staggered, it's staggered. It's staggered. Pangum ko namo si mo to accessed. Pabo. Sakdiri hende hende. Kiri. Very, very good. Very, very good. Okay. So now they will focus down Ishmael. So we have to intercept for her. We do not need to intercept, we just need to kill this guy over here. How much damage will this do if it's one sided? It okay, is 67 if he rolls the hits. So that means I need to ensure his death by clashing one time with him. Okay, mine whip, mine whip onto you. Okay. And then we will go like this for the impale. Rip space onto Ahab. A one sided attack here. Okay. I think I think that's pretty looking pretty good. No? Okay, too fragile blood. Oh, I rogue tails. Hopefully the tree protection just protects whoever's getting attacked. Okay, 
You had 45 SP! I really cannot tell if I'm making this unnecessarily longer than it should be. But at the same time, none of my teammates are dying yet, so... I guess this is a stable run, but not a efficient run. Where do I go in now? Can Mind Strike kill? It can. If it hits. Okay, wait. Speed though. Okay, okay. I know what to do. This guy's going at 5 speed. So I need to kill him. Make sure he's dead. So we use a Mind Strike to try and kill him. Literally, as long as this wins. It's a negative point move. It should win. Right? Yes, it should win. Okay, and that will kill him. And Quick Quack will go last. Quick Quack will attack Ning Claire and Ryoshu. But I think I can stagger Ahab this turn by sacrificing those two. So, we are going to do this. And Boonga Boonga the shit out of her. In fact, I'll just do another Sun Shower. Screw it. Do the Sun Shower again. Wait, will this corrode? It has no chance to corrode. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll clash with it. Huh? We'll clash with it. Huh? Don't want to risk. Okay. <laughs> Okay, he's dead. Very good. Okay, we did it! We once again managed to get the stagger. Alright, alright, we did it. Okay, so we skip again the second assist defense phase. But I sacrificed two members for it. Okay, that's fine. Acceptable losses. Alright, then according to the one dude in chat, if we kill, the fight ends. So now we just kill. Is that enough to kill? Uh oh. I might run out of damage. Oh, come on, man. Ain't no way. Okay, well, time for the low risk threat. Yeah, I did not draw the good coins, unfortunately, so I am going to have to clash these guys for now. Ah, uh, so unfortunate. I was so close to victory. And I need to make sure none of them lose, so I'm gonna commit my body sack here. I got quite a few spare resources, which should be fine. Okay, dominating. Let's just go. It's fine, we'll just clash the two and then we'll just unga bunga e have the rest and then we'll be done. If I manage to get the kill on on the other dude, I might have been able to have an easier time here. Cause two less actions for him that I need to intercept. Okay, 
Is it a defense? Wait, it broke. It broke. <laughs> She's defending. <laughs> She's defending. But it broke. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to say no to that. I'm not saying no to that. Yo, three rips. Oh, so rip. Man, it does not help that my coins are absolute doggy right now. This is still neutral to win. Okay, she's right at the stagger. Never mind. She was right at the stagger this whole time. Okay, so that means this one-sided attack here will kill. Well, we'll stagger her. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that part. Thank you for mentioning that part. I actually did not see that part. Okay. So now we know that we can break the sequence for QQ and then uh, we can also skip the Ahab assist defense phase by just unga bungaing her. I do not know if it's more efficient or anything like that though. I do not know. Okay, so um, I don't know if I can heal 16 HP back to full in like a few rounds. So I'm just going to swap out some units here. Uh, I think we'll definitely bring the two bursters because we do need some bursty moves for the last part there. Rodion, not exactly necessary. Bisang, also not necessary. Uh, I miss out a lot of damage though, because of this, but I mean, she's very, very low. Extraordinarily low. Okay, I, I can top her up actually. I got G Greg on my bench. Do I sacrifice Dichi? I think I sacrifice Dichi. I'll go for the free second. 7 HP and a dream. That's the efficient strat. <laughs> Okay. And any recommended teams? Uh, I recommend I recommend a few characters. I recommend K Honglu. I recommend Regret Faust. I recommend Fluid Sack Faust Ego. And then after that is the usual suspects. The Omega Lol low turn. Yeah, exactly. You can Omega Lol kill all of them for sure. But it's a lot of re-rolling. I feel like I want to re-roll this hand. It's kind of mediocre, but uh, I'm not re-rolling. We just go with whatever we get. It's hopeless for him. Also hopeless. I can teleport win. Unopposed, so it won't. I don't want to sacrifice this. Can I body sack? I think I can body sack it. Yep, I can. Okay. Right, in Claire one sided, Gruppy one sided. Uh Teleport consumes. I have plenty of these resources for now. Uh we want to get the charge going. Thank you for losing. Thank you for losing. Thank you for losing. Thank you for losing. Here we go again. I really can't tell anymore whether I'm lucky or unlucky. Like, look, it's the special run one, guys. Crazy. Just needed one reset. Voyage. Setting sail. Sing 
I mean, I already have a list of the units that I really, really recommend for this right now. Actually, let me just make a notepad for it. Hold on. Actually, no, I have some text here. Where's my text that actually matters? Is it this one? Uh, I think it's this one. Uh, notable units. Inclair, the rabbit, the spice bush, the regret, plus fluid side faust. Besides that, uh, who else we got? Eh? Uh, actually, seven seven faust is also not bad because uh, there's one stage where you need a lot of slashing for slashing section. Uh, I think that is um, from five to eight, if I remember correctly, from five to eight. Uh, besides that, who else? Uh, seven files, Kong Lu, useful for redirecting. Last, uh, last few is from eight to eleven, nine to eleven, I think, nine to eleven. Uh, w Corp Ryoshu, of course. W Corp Ryoshu and uh, Dawn. Yep, plus Dawn. Yep. King Tang on bench. And then no Massaults or Gregors in general. Uh, I can't think of any other things. Let me change this color so. So white. Red doesn't work either. Yes, yes, I know it's white text in white background. Relax, man. I'm figuring out what color to use here. Black, how about black? Black still cannot. My color theory is bad, guys. Okay, green, green, green kind of works. Kind of. So let's see. According to what I got here, most of the Ishmaels are good. Yeah, that's true. Most of the Ishmaels are also very good. Why am I doing this? I should just get a notepad. Hold on, let me just copy paste all this to a notepad. Buggers here, no? Ningkle, Foul, Spice Bush, Regret, Seven, Kong Lu, W Corp, Ting Tang, No Massaults or Gregors, The Ishmaels, uh, I guess Reindeer, or. Reindeer is, reindeer is fine, la. I think Reindeer is the best option in my opinion. Um, Otis, Shoot This is not bad for early stages. For early stages, uh, Mola Otis for bench. For bench, it's also not bad for your Yisang. Uh, yeah, I can't really remember any others right now. I'll think about it later. We will refer to the in game later. Okay, I'll just close this for now. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there's quite a lot of good options though, for this real. I mean, okay, it's the usual suspects. It's the usual suspects. There's one paralyze. Remember that there is one paralyze. Quickly, <laughs> Sokuro. 
Hit the stagger. Hit the gripping. You're stuck on silk current, dude. Right? Yes, R3 does encourage team flopping, and I can see already there is quite a few optimal characters for early stages and quite a few optimal characters for later stages. 7 is still good, but not for DPS. No, it's for the slashing, no? It's not really for rupture or anything either. I just don't know how to fight the bosses, I can't read. Is Sinclair any good? Of course Sinclair is very good. Uh, he's only good on the piercing stages though, so do take note of that. Sinclair is obviously very good also. Both of them are really really good options for him. Because both of them have really high coins, and you always love high coins. Wait, this guy has 23 HP. Uh, that's current. Then. Optimal clear by clear guys later. I mean you don't need to optimize, just do your comfortable clear because really this uh railway is very very easy to get sub hunting. Level 35 isn't enough? Uh, it's okay. I think you can still clear with 35. As long as you know what you're doing. Uh, just maybe a few of the clashes will be a little bit trickier. Because you lack a little bit of offense level. But whatever. It's just very minor stuff. Uh, this one is what phase again? It's the uh, uh, clash against prey mark. Okay. I want my Ninclair to be a prey mark. Oh dear. He's about to corrode it. Um... I think I just blame Corrode, who cares? As long as he doesn't hit Ryoshu. And then later hit Ryoshu immediately. <sighs> I want the full sack now then. Hit this. Dodge this. Flash this. Uh, we have Mind Wave next turn, so this. Actually, I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind you doing this either. Oh, but I can't with really that one. This should be fine. Imagine you clashing with other Blossom at level 35, uh, yeah. I mean, use other Blossom to clash other Blossom actually would probably work out. Yep, all the IDs that I use is the DPSs. Because ultimately this is a DPS run. With uh, the only exception being of course my uh, my Grippy Faust, who is not really a DPS. Oh my goodness, he's actually clashing, that's crazy. Okay, he's clashing with uh, one of the Echoing Crimes. Oh, but I can uh, intercept it and make it a one-sided. Hold on tight, my compass is curiosity. Compass is curiosity. Okay, another easy one to settle. Oh, I need to clash that thing over there. And then Falso have a hopeless fight here. Pop another fluid sack for that healing and SP regeneration. Oh, 
기다리는 거 못해. 백초만 기다려줄게. 오케이, let's see. 물기, dominating, rabbit, nothing. Ryoshu, also nothing. Well, I guess for Ryoshu, I can just uh, pop it to win. Let's see. Swallowed by the sea. I really don't want to reset, so I'm going to play this really carefully here. Let's see. I'm going to Ardor Blossom. Hey, I'm going to fourth match flame this thing because I do not want to lose to that thing over there. We are hitting the stagger threshold already. Dodge that. Linklair, one side for me please. Thank you very much. Dominating, dominating. Very good. Hey, 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 the four hours, right? It's because I distorted halfway, okay? If I just decided to use my brain a little bit earlier, I would be fine. I'm telling you. Okay, we're approaching the really hard one. So stand by, dump all of your dog shit skills. For some tactical staggering. Let's see. Go by the sea. She shape with me. You and me. Quick, get so good. Alright, Dawn, I'm gonna need to get stabbed. Very good. And Claire, I'm sorry, but you also have to get stabbed. Excellent. Fix the pressure next round. Keep it, you'll be the next one to get stabbed afterwards. Why are you guys getting stabbed? I thought the shield broke. Well, not too worried. This time I have to say. Okay, quick suppression will absolutely melt through all of that. Uh, rip space? No, I don't have. Okay. Yes, yes, stabber, stabber. Go ahead. Sure, I'll stab him as well. That's fine. Okay. Oh, 
Alright, so I get your actual hit. Alright. Damage moves, I attack the... Hollow by the sea. Hollow by the sea. Friendship between you and me. Oh, I got a fourth match frame to proc on it too. Mm, now that's the good shit. Stay dead! Holy shit, I hate this bitch. This is a super fast gas harpoon run. Oh, cool. <laughs> was it? It was what? Only 10, right? 10, 11, 7. I mean, I feel like I did just average for most of these, honestly. And this one is because uh, I got kind of lucky with the rules, for sure. Okay. So, uh, any suggestions on what to bring for this one? Voila, what is? Do I want to bring Kong? I, I mean, I'll go Kongless first, I guess. We'll go Kongless. Uh, we'll bring the, the typical gang. Alright, welcome to Terminus. Who is this going to be? It's going to be Perversion, if I remember correctly. Bring all the Unga Bunga gang. Uh, right, let's see what's going on with this perversion gang. Not sure. I okay. All of my the chat is just full of people who like to watch people suffer. All right, time for me to read. Inflict gaze every time the hand part is hit. Three times per turn. Ten percent more damage for every gaze. At seven gaze, gain fifteen bleed and replace with contempt. Lose three ego. Aha! So that's where we go. My grasp unit with contempt is broken. All at knows. Turn and gain one for every ten potency on self, respectively. Okay! So they let you kind of cook for this last one, huh? Maybe Rupture Sinclair team will actually work out here. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. I think it crits. Gain one pride. Oh, you can even support crit. And you can also give envy. Wow. Okay, very interesting passive. Very interesting amount of uh, teamwork here. Double fragile and bind when you clash in. Inflict offense level down. Inflict tree grass. It's all on hit. Alright, everything seems to be on hit. So, as long as I win rare, I should be okay actually. Alright. Oh, hands. I forgot you get gaze when you look at the hands, and then you lose ego resources when you get when you hit the hands. What happens if you break the hands though? What happens if you break the hands? Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's try breaking the hands first. Let's do body set. Uh, body set. We just, just use it to clash. Uh, what's our sanity for Ninclair? Okay. Focus down the hands, I guess, for Ninclair. Oh, do you SP damage? Yes, sir. Damage my sanity, please. Uh, this one's attacking who? It's attacking Drippy. Drippy, change your attack to this. This one's attacking Ryoshu. Ryoshu, attack this. Okay. Let's go for this. And then this one is dominating, dominating, dominating. Okay. I. Alright, let's try this way. Okay, let's take a look at what's happening now. So we have three gays. With 3 gaze, he activates his cool ability. Why is he red? 
Why are you red now? I am very afraid. Why are you red? If there is a surviving grasp unit, gain final power plus 5 with a plus 4 plus 4, 8, 8, 7, 17, 17 plus 5, 23. So I need to beat that with a 23. Okay, let's focus down the hands. We do have one paralyzed, so we will take advantage of that. Uh, I think this should work out pretty well, actually. Alright, and then we got... Oh wait! Oh, it's only one move. Whoops, my bad. Uh, so it's just this then. Uh, the first roll... As long as the first roll win, we should be fine. Dominating. Focus down the hands. These two are attacking those two body parts. I want to apply gripping onto there, so if possible, can I get a... Flash win here. Thank you very much. And then we do gripping here. And then we replace it with this thing over here. Let's see how it goes. Alright, first one won. That means the rest should be easy to win. Ah, damn. Roll so many hits. I didn't even check what type is big too. Resist piercing as well. Okay. Just quite a lot of piercing. Okay, what was slashing? Oh, I forgot to change the. Oh no no, never mind, it's fine. Never mind. It's still okay. Everything's everything's still going fine. Okay, any interesting things going on? Bro, right now it feels like the last fight was way harder than this fight. Like, it's just so different right now. I feel super chill right now. Even though I'm supposed to be losing uh, uh, ego resources at some point. That's the only thing that slightly fears me. But I'm about to break the hands at this point, so let's see what happens, huh? Uh, defense skill, favorite. Actually, favorite means positive, so just clash them. And then. I need to build up charge, but. The unopposed, though. Pop this. And then you can unopose here. Then you can clash that. This is correct. Clashing, clashing. Defense. Don't care. Okay, okay. No quick suppressions coming yet. Good day, Sokuro. Very close to breaking already. This like rupture is very good here, actually. This boss doesn't have any special mechanics, and you can stack quite a bit of rupture once you get the talisman applied. Then you get up to damage. Okay, we hit the stagger, we're in. Okay, anything special here after we break the hands? Nope, very... Okay, still nothing interesting happening. This is still a very chill fight so far. Under 65. We'll dodge this. Uh, we can leave the body, I guess. But I really do want to break the hands. Do we have enough damage to break the hands? We do. Yeah, we definitely do. What's the weaknesses of the hands? It resists everything equally, so it looks like it's fine. Oh shit, she lost. Oh, okay, it's fine.
Okay, I hit contempt. So now what? I get I gain three damage down and lose three ego resources, right? So what happens now? Can I just continue unga bungaing? Okay, quick suppression coming out. Let's use body set. Let's use mind whip on the hands because it's about to break. Uh, we can use this to clash that. And then execution to clash that. And then... Um, hmm. I want to use my dater though. Okay, you body psychic go here, dater go here. Mind whip dater onto that part. I guess we just keep going. No one's telling me anything. Still not seeing anything. Okay, 289. Alright, we are now in contempt. Alright. Gain 3 damage down next turn. Uh, lose 3 ego resources. Okay, I mean. So far, it's okay. Uh, quick suppression to the hands. Uh, I can probably just eat these attacks. I don't give a shit. It's probably not going to be tremendous amounts of damage. Let's throw a little bit. Let's just keep attacking the hands. Okay, just keep going for those hands. Alright, we are 993 HP already. I know we are doing 30% less damage, but seems okay to me so far. Alright, yeah, spam me, spam me, go ahead. I'm just gonna unga bunga. I'm just waiting for something special to happen. If there is a surviving grass unit, final power plus 5. Okay, uh, we are now at all beholding gaze. Oh, we're starting to die now, okay. How do we get to all beholding gaze? How does that work? When it drops, remove contempt, then inflict all beholding gaze, okay? So now we're in all beholding gaze stage, so that's the unique mechanic. It's going to slowly kill me. All units take 4 times value, fix HP. What's 4 times value? Oh, 4 times 1, okay. So I'm gonna lose 4 SP and 4 HP every single turn. I still have fluid sack resources, I do not lose my resources anymore. Hands fully regenerated. 590 HP to go. Need to use an ego to beat this thing here. What do I do? What do I do? Uh, I think Rift Space will do it. It will add plus 5, right? Yeah. There's no grasp unit here either, I think. Okay. Mm, I could use Fluid Sack now, but I think I should delay it a little bit. Let's see if anyone else can beat these regular clashes. Okay, you can beat those, you can beat this, these ones, um, I think you guys have a little bit of trouble beating it. I'd rather not burn too much of my resources, let's go with this. Should I guard this? It's, it's blunt, I can't actually guard it. I'll just guard it then, we saw some SP. Okay, let's just keep it moving. Uh, attack this part please. And then the space take over this part here.
Man, this bot has a lot of bleed on him, huh? Oh, can we 99 beast stack him? He has so many actions actually. Okay, we lost 8 SP this turn. 390 HP left to go. Inflict 3 grass. Okay, okay. Getting sassier, getting sassier. As we approach the end, it gets harder and harder. Okay. Alright, let's see what else I can do here. Fluid sack, favorite. Uh, can I get hit by this? I can. Can I get hit by this? I can. Uh, it shall constrict. It fix tree grass. Maybe let's not let that happen. Let's hit it with this. And then hit it with this. Hit it with this. Yeah, the animations are cool. If you were getting hit, that is. Okay, let's heal up and SP up. I'm trying to consider a cheese strat that will clear this guy in 6 turns But I can't really think of any just by looking at this boss here Oh, it's this one again Hmm... What to do, what to do... My hands are... My draws are getting really shit. Yeah, my draws are really, really bad right now. Evasion. Hmm. Another fluid sack? I can afford it. Fluid sack to beat the hands. There's no grass target. We should be fine. Slowly ticking down to our death is honestly quite fine with me. Favorite defense, keep focusing down the hand. I can clear it in four. I can't really think of any. I can't think of any right now. But raw damage is certainly not the way. Every turn that goes, the... Upper this gets. Oh my god, rip space. Dither, how long are you gonna take to come? It's actually crazy how long I not got to my rip space yet. Will quick suppression ever come? I will never know. Hey. 
so ah okay it's rupture but huh uh i think i can build my talisman actually we can try it after this is he gonna die though can't tell <laughs> Whoa. All right, 74 HP left. Let's go, boys. Let's finish this. Focus down those hands for me. Thank you very much. Victory! Alright, that's real way tree cleared. Yeah, I guess I'm guessing Talisman was the way. As expected, the these guys always do the most. Then the bench guys, okay. 75! Alright, we take those. Can probably cut it even shorter, TBH. And then they suddenly release, hey, you need to get 80 turns or less in order to get your next banner. Alright, resources claim. Oh, cool, you can see the damage stats here. Very nice. Very, very cool. Alright. So, who are the really important ones to bring along here? Spice Bush, surprisingly red sheet Sinclair, Rabbit Heath, Grippy, and Seven Association. Then later on, Reindeer, TBH only Reindeer, I think. Followed by W Corp, W Corp, uh, whatever this guy's name is, Don. W Corp Don. Uh, after that, Dichi, Rodion. I can't see any of the others being used. W Rio, literally no replacement. Sinclair probably can sort with Sinclair in some of the fights. Uh, Sinclair is mostly piercing. So if you want more piercing damage, Sinclair is probably a little bit better than Sinclair. Massault? Nope. Don't even use a single Massault. Just find a bench one. Uh, is there any good bench Massaults for use? Come on, I have the lowest speed increase in fixed one rupture. Okay, that's not terrible. Higher speed, lower, nope, ignore. What about this Massault? Higher Smex. This one's not bad. This one's not bad. I think that base Massault is not bad. Apply one attack power to the ally below 50%. Not really important. Damage? Mm, eh. How about you on the bench? You just give speed, right, for highest charge count. Not ter not not bad honestly. Rabbit will sometimes get hit with it, which is fine. Oh, it's Ting Tang and Kong Lu, but I really wonder how you fare in this dungeon, cause you are a slasher, and you do do a sizable chunk of damage, so twenty something. But also, you sacrifice Ting Tang's a uh, very very good passive, huh? W Sung and Seven Heath. I mean W Sung for the final boss. Seven Heath also for final boss. Whammer got a 64 with almost pure rupture. Okay, that's great. So rupture is the very very good strat for that last part. Oh for the whole RR, yeah. Okay. Very very nice. Stopping to rupture team is the best way to cut turns. But final boss. You need guy be gonna beat with base IDs, just don't use base IDs. Kong Lu, yeah, Kong Lu is really really good of course. Kong Lu Kong Lu Ting Tang on the bench and probably Dichi Association? I, I really don't know. I don't think Sinking is particularly important in this one. Cause he can't really inflict any SP damage on Ahab, so there's really no point. And the rest of them just become a, a low SP by default, so there's really no point. Uh, I think for that final fight, yeah, I think the boss has too many actions, so bleed cannot be applied realistically. But if you were to apply like rupture, that's totally controllable by you. 
because you are the, the rupture is only re removed when you attack and not uh, like bleed where it's when he attacks Gregor is there uh, there is Zly Gregor Zly Gregor I actually don't remember what Zly Gregor gives is Zly Gregor even good to bring along just for passive or is it just for attacks let's see Huh, okay, you can actually use him for the Gloom Slash enemies. Not too bad of an option, realistically. And he's all slashing also, so you can take advantage of the type. And he's, he does quite a lot of damage. Huh? He's actually quite good. Yep. So if you want to run a full slash team, you will run Zwei Gregor. And then you would... Let's see, if you need all of the slashers for later, right? Slasher? And then you got... Uh, Dichi as slasher, then you got the uh, Zoai as slasher. Who else is a slasher? One, two, three, I guess him, four. And then you got two more options for slashing. I can't think of any other slash type characters. I, I get her, rip space. So five, and then one last one. Probably just slap an Inkler and then call it a day or something like that. Nothing particularly interesting for slash characters, I think. Yeah. So I, for tanking, I guess it's fine. Yeah. Oh, I, I expect Ahab Ishmael, right? To be a Gloom Piercer. But I cannot really predict the rest of a kit right now. I do not know what that kit is going to be for that uh for that Ahab Ishmael. Oh, I really cannot wait. 75 is a nice number. I probably will not be trying to go for lower than that because I like nice numbers. Unless somehow we can get 50. If theoretically we were to try to push for 50, which stages would we cut? Let me let me actually check. Uh... Okay, let's see. For this one, I think... It's around 6 or less. For this one, it's the SP farming stage and ego resource farming stage. So also going to be like 8 or 6 or something like that. Uh, Gossipium is main... Gossipium actually can be spared quite a bit. You just bring like 5 slashers and that will settle it. He has no special things going on for him. For this guy, it's playing his mechanics so it's kind of fixed. Slashing also to DPS him down faster so you don't have to go through two phases. Other Blossom is focusing down the wings with I think piercing damage if I remember correctly. I cannot remember the other Blossom weaknesses. You can get 3 on Glossy PM, yeah, yeah I think so. Best I've seen in the second set is 3, 4 and 5. 3, 4 and 5. 3 for the Pearl. Wow how do you get 3 for the Pearl actually? That's crazy. How are you supposed to like get through the the pierce? Sorry, get through the resistances of the shell. Oh, rupture! Yes, of course. When the guy is thick, just rupture him down. Ah, <sighs> of course, of course, yes. All these bosses with the resist mechanics, just just ninety nine rupture them. Just ninety nine rupture them. It's literally like super broken. Yeah. Okay, and then these guys just bring your ad clearers. For Ishmael. Ishmael, I think, is kind of fixed. I think it's going to be around 10, 10 at minimum. Uh, with 11 and 12 being the norms for Ishmael's. Uh, sorry, for the Ahab's. And then for the last one here, Rupture. Yeah, Rupture will get through that resistance, yes. It was slash weak, but Sun Shower's spam cleared. Uh, uh, Rupture does struggle on the Ahab's, that's true. Yes, yes, that's why I said uh, I don't think the, the Rupture team actually works too well on the Ahab's. Uh, maybe on the last Ahab though, maybe on this Ahab. Unless the Rupture doesn't uh, transfer over. I think he, she cleanses all her Ruptures every time she dies. So it's a bit annoying. So not very efficient. Uh, yeah. Uh, but besides that, Rupture is definitely the way to go. I think because... Uh, yeah, okay, it doesn't transfer. Okay, that's that's why. Yeah, Yeah, she's built with it. Alright. Then there's uh, some bleeding stuff. Uh. I think bleed, we just don't have enough because the boss has like 1 billion coins. But we don't have enough bleed count application even with like a full team of bleed count application. So it might be a little bit tricky to try for bleed. But I think it, bleed will work out quite well actually. Uh, although I think for Ahab of course it will fall off because 
for Ahab, uh, she will just cleanse all the bleed stacks later on. Yeah, swapping Rupture in and out is definitely a very good strat. I think Rupture for the bottom part here is exceptional. It will literally destroy all of these bosses here. All of them are just uh, resist damage, right? But Rupture is true, so it doesn't give a shit. So Rupture just goes through all of these buggers down here. Uh, Rupture for these guys, not particularly necessary. You can just go for like any other team comp you want. This one's an ad fight. This one is just focusing down the, the headpiece. I mean, Rupture can do that as well, but I don't think you need Rupture for the ad fight here. I don't know. Maybe maybe Regret Faust is a little bit better for this early stage here. But then you can keep your uh, Rupture gank here. Oh, but the problem is Regret Faust shares with 7 Association Faust. That one's a bit tricky. W salt isn't good for anything in comparison to the other sinners. It's still power crap, most salts, yes. Uh, right now, I'm still waiting on that one ID, right? To have 1 billion coins and then combo it with Regret. The Regret Ego. So if you combine that with the Regret Ego, you're going to see some crazy shit. I'm just waiting for one day, one on Basalt to come out and it'll just be a bunch of coins. Isn't ADD Greg the Rupture Lynchpin? What? Huh? Uh, ADD Greg is for charge, no? ADD Greg is for charge and he's not even needed for charge, that's the thing. Uh, that can Yi Sang, uh, you know, uh, with that team comp, uh, it's a bit of a. It's, it's not particularly bleed, it's more like benefits from bleed. Oh, Rupture Gregor gives that, uh, okay. Let me head back to the window first. Let me head back to the window. I want to see this for myself. ADD Greg also gives good rupture. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember like running uh, ADD Greg most of the time when I run my characters. But let's see, ADD Gregor. If we chat spin him, uh, I got spare threads, I'll do it. I don't care. Let's see, before you gain spark discharge. Oh! Oh, I forgot that he does rupture stuff also. Holy shit, I thought he was charged only. <laughs> He's also rupture. Okay, cool, good to know. Mursault that can speed around Hurtily passive, that's 5 turns. Eh, 4 turns of uh, spamming Hurtily is very, very expensive. It's not very uh, efficient for that one. Uh, w Sang, of course, yeah, W Sang, the rupture king as of now. Uh, being able to replace all his rupture counts, very, very good. ADD Gregor, good rupture but not needed. I mean, generally if you want to run rupture, I actually have my uh, saved rupture team here. It's not this guy, uh, but it is this, this, followed by this, and then followed by this. One, two, three, four, plus your talisman that you slap in here, and then you slap in your Gregor if you want the ego. Otherwise, you slap in uh, your W Sung if you have your W Sung. Uh, w Sung, here you go. I haven't built him yet. My previous rupture team was like one, two, one, two, and then three, and then four, and then I just filled in with two. But essentially, you want to go full rupture is this, this, this. These three are the core of rupture. And then this one, because it's all bosses. Since it's all bosses, this guy is crazy. And then uh, you can bring whoever you want here because Kong by default is already good, but he also synergizes with rupture, so it's just kind of insane that he just does whatever he wants. They mostly want Cliff for the fragile setup. Mm. Ah, true, true. If you don't need the if you don't need the potency from this guy, then you just swap to Q Cliff. But Q Cliff will have a uh, quite a lot of minus uh, for the rupture count. But you just need to play around it. You just need to keep dodging and not use anything until you're ready to do quick suppression. Then you do a crazy amount of damage, apply fragility, and then this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy just unleash their full um, full damage. Yep. I can't really think of any other rupture characters. It's just these six here, right? For bosses, I think this guy's actually better than the uh, seven heath. Kong works well not only because of him giving rupture, but just tanking for rupture. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's because he's Kong and he also has rupture, so he just benefits both sides. Seven force is pretty good for zero zero. What is 7 force is pretty good for 0 0? Isn't this a 0 0 0? This is a 3 star. Talking about Masao that hurts himself to speedrun the passive. Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. <sighs> Why is Hong Lu so good? I don't know. 
look at this list here and tell me which Honglu is bad. Like maybe you can say this one is not needed, but he's not he's not bad. Then what about the base Honglu? He's also not he's like weaker than all the other Hongs for sure and a lot of other big three stars, right? But he's also not bad. He literally has coin power on skill 2 and 3 by the way as a base ID. And then what, this guy, he was broken for a long time, still broken as a 2 star. 3 star, put on bench, easy. Uh, for clearing ads, also easy. This guy is strong as shit, I immediately uptied him the moment I saw him. Burn, rupture and ultra tank, bleed. Yeah, I, I guess you can call these two as like the worst of the Hongs, sure. But they're not like absolutely dog shit like characters. They are kind of usable. Kind of usable. Liu Hong, it's yeah, he's just there for count basically. He's here to just apply that burning count. But you can get the count from a lot of other sources also. Yeah, he does he definitely does do better when you put him on the bench here. Yeah? So you can't really call him bad either. Like a two star with a good support is a, is a two star that you might use in the future. So this is still a very very good one with the support here. Yeah. Honglu is like really really good in all IDs. And then Vasalt is just like Vasalt is great, right? But he like there's always something to replace him. Like yeah, it's a very unfortunate design for Vasalt. There's always something else better that you could find to just replace your Vasalt. So it's generally just never good to bring him along. Vasalt has the mid issue, yeah. He, he's, he's so mid that I don't think anyone actually uses him to like min max stuff. But they might use him just cause he is, he's dripped out, you know. Like, like this shit is drip. This is drip. Then his gross hammer. Uh, is it gross? No. Hey, yeah, it's gross hammer. Gross hammer. But Sylvans is literally the drip. Yeah, I, I really love his design. I just am very sad that I don't find situations where, man, I wish I could have a Vassalt right here, you know? There's no situation where it's like, oh man, I need a Vassalt. It's always a, man, if only I had this instead of Vassalt. It's never the other way around. Yeah, he has just a bunch of broken egos. The problem is that you kind of need good synergy between them. Regret has theoretically like amazing synergy with every single muscle ID, right? But at the same time, it's just uh, I don't know. It's I mean, it's like really really good for these two skills, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just wait for one like really really powerful coin muscle or something like that, and then this regret will fix and make him like super busted, I don't know. Rodeo is basically Vassalt but better. Ah, is that true? Sinking, a bit of burning slash, some extra damage on slashing. I, I don't think I can compare them directly. I don't think it's a very direct comparison here. Regret, Hurtily, Kapot, and Chains are all fundamentally broken. How did it go? Oh, how did it go? Uh, well... I got myself my 75 turns. And I only did it by ramming my head against the wall and not reading. So yeah, this is uh, the ram my head against the wall run. And I already get 75. I think that a budget team comp for this is actually really, really uh, doable. Do I Lunacy pull for current banner? Uh, current banner? I can't even remember what it is. Oh, for Hong Lu, I wouldn't mind dipping a few, but do remember that next week we are getting the uh, Captain Ishmael, uh, the Captain Ishmael uh, preview, so we can actually see what she does. So I wouldn't recommend that because Captain Ishmael is probably going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah, you're not pulling for this banner here. You can spark for the Hong Lu if you want. You can go to the dispensary and go get yourself a Hong Lu. But don't pull. Ahab is coming. Okay, guys, ignore my lunacy, okay? It's because I just get lucky, alright? It took me what 70 pulls on the uh on the Otis banner to get the gun Otis, so yeah. 
And also in terms of boxes, I'm pretty good on my boxes. I think I'm a little bit low, but I think because of the uh, I think because of railway, I just got a bunch of boxes anyway. Yeah. So I should be fine. Yeah, 215, 100 shards. Yeah, I have more than enough to spark my Ishmael or pull the Ishmael if I wanted to. And also I got a bunch of tickets anyway. So realistically, I'm set for Ishmael. Super set. So close to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know if I can get there. My math is not good. I finished at 98 turns. I didn't have that much pierce IDs. Uh, I would say piercing is not actually the big problem here. But yeah, rupture is definitely really, really strong here. Yeah, Honglu is permanent sparkable. Ahab is not permanent sparkable. Kingdom Lu not gonna shine. Yeah, that's true, that's true. If you're not gonna discard Kong. I mean, you don't need to, you just need to uh, do the discard tech on that Kingdom Lu and he's, you know, fine by himself. I mean, he won't get full power, but he'll be outputting 20, 24, 26s, I think. Yeah, yeah, skip Hong Lu for now. Blunt is so over party with this railway. Uh, the meta is definitely Rupture. Uh, you want a budget Rupture Team Kong? It will depend on what you... It will depend on what you are lacking. But essentially, right? Uh, let me just put like all the base units here. So it's a little bit more clear. This one can be for Zwei. Okay, I mean, I'll just put G Gregor here. And then you can be like this. Yeah, so, so just like any of these units here that you see, right? You can just kind of use them. G comp, you just change which why. And pretty much, you this is the Rupture comp. The core of Rupture though, is 7 Faust. And then uh, either 7 Heath for poten potency application, or uh, Red Sheet for potency application, depending if it's a boss or not. Then you need W Corp for the Rupture count, uh, K Corp for the Rupture synergy stuff and then this one for rupture count even if stem very very important also <laughs> there's really no rupture count like budget team the team is pretty expensive like without this and without okay i mean maybe with isang it might be enough count maintenance already but you will need other characters right that would not burn your count and do nothing you need characters that actually do something with your count or provide so much value that you don't mind them burning your count because this one uh, uh, maintains count, maintains count. I think, I think it's a bit of a loss for count for him. For what? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, he's mostly a potency application, and he minuses your count also, and he's a good synergy character. So count, count, count. Then you can ego with him for count also, and he can also do his potency application. So yeah, it's pretty tough. Slash is good in the mid stages. I guess I have to spark seven thousand and W sung. I wouldn't spark so soon just cause uh, the two that you mentioned are pretty much uh, forever characters, right? This one is not seasonal character. If you looked at like what, I think W Corp? No, W Corp's not even seasonal. Who's the seasonal character here? The seasonal character is... I think it's K Corp. Yeah, yeah, they're, if they're a seasonal character, they'll have a season uh, symbol on the right. So 7 is not seasonal, W is also not seasonal, so you should probably save for the season 3 units first, and then when you have access, then you go and spark for the ones that are not seasonal. I have everyone but W, Corp, Yisang, and 7 Force them. 7 Yi is budget version of W Yi, yeah, don't, don't think about 7, 7 Yi honestly. Uh, when I tried to make 7 Yi work, it was just like, why bother using him? It's straight up like, just worse. The only reason you would maybe bring him right is cause he's Yi Sang and you can use Dimension Shredder and you can kind of feel his ego using that character because it's Sloth and Glut right? So you can use the base Yi Sang here, the 7 Association Yi Sang, Sloth and Glut to feel it. But yeah, no, you you, pro you definitely want this one here. This one here is way better. Way, way better.
It was always really mediocre. It was really, really mediocre. WE is literally designed for the Dimension Shredder. Literally 100% designed for it. Oh, right. Well, anyway, it's time to spread the word. Rupture is in. Unga Bunga is not so in, but still doable. 75 turns with Unga Bunga team. And then pretty much, uh, if you want to get lower than my Unga Bunga number, you just bring the Rupture Gang for the specific fights. Yep, pretty much. Guess I'll wait until it had banner, but I don't have those two to complete the Rupture team. Uh, yeah, uh, let me try and remember something here. It's, you want Faust and you want... Uh, you want Faust and you want Yi Sang, right? For Yi Sang, the only one he has right now is this two-star version of him. I believe there's no season 3 Yi Sang yet. So if you want to bomb shards for it, it's actually kind of okay. But then after that, uh, for Faust... Faust, I can't remember any seasonal Fausts from this season. Except Regret, but Regret is a special case, Volpergist, right? So yeah, if you want to spark for this one, I think it's also okay. Cause it's honestly not too bad. Yeah, we only have what? Another Yi Sang here, right? Picquart first mate. Uh, I, okay, no, Picquart first mate is actually kind of okay. But you can pull him, he's a 2 star, so it's really not that hard to get him either. Yeah, I think in your case, since you want Faust and Yi Sang, right? I think it's actually okay to spark. Because it's not Ishmael. But if you want to pull, that's a different story, because Ishmael's coming. Yeah, there is Picot Yi Sang. Picot Yi Sang is honestly quite good for the Poise Gang. Especially when Ahab is coming. So all of these guys here, when Ahab drops, absolutely need to go and get him and try him out. I am standing by to go and spark these guys, but I'm hoping that when I pull the Ahab banner, I will have a chance of just spooking for these guys here. So yeah, there's no Pirate Force, unfortunately. Yep. If there was a Pirate Force, it would be really nice. Maybe they release her at the, near the end or something, I don't know. The Pirate Force would probably be Poise Bleed again, right? Blois, as they call it. If I don't get a head, actually, even if you don't get a head, you can probably spark them. Uh, assuming like you are okay with in like another unit appearing and being good. I don't know how much resources you have, but as you can see, right, I literally don't care. So in in Nimbus Company, you get so much resources as long as you play. That's kind of fine to just do whatever you want as long as you know what you're doing. So if you really, really want the Rupture Gang, go ahead and get the Rupture Gang. But if you can wait until the end of the season and then decide on what you want to dispense or pull, then that is usually the better option because then you'll be able to see all of the units that come first. Then you can go and get the units. What if Ahab is rupture? There's no way. There's actually no way. I can give you a. I can give you my theory. I can give you my theory here. Hold on. Uh, okay, so there is no way that she's rupture because her ego for her is not rupture. Remember how Spice Bush Ego was designed straight up for him? That means this Ego Blind Obsession also designed straight up for your Ahab Ishmael. There is no rupture shit here. Nothing here is rupture. What it could be is charge. What it could be is poise. What it could be is pierce. And then the passive here at the end of the turn inflict 5 sinking to one other ally. I don't know why. This part here is the most interesting part about the passive. What part of this actually makes sense for her team. This is the part that I'm quite interested in. Maybe she has a passive where if the team is low on sanity, she will do like the Ahab thing and yell at them and then make them have high sanity immediately. So I don't know. I don't know what is up with this passive here. But I do know that she's 100% charge, 100% something related to poise or pierce power. Like this is 100% stuff that she's going to be. Envy slash poise unit. I would say it's also okay to be pride because you know this is a pride ego. The real question is who and what pip will be. Maybe if Ella has X sinking, do something cool. Only sinking will make sense with the captain. Uh 
to be fair, we don't have a lot of sinking characters. So if Ishmael can fit into the sinking archetype also, then it'll also be very good. Because then we'll be able to actually run a full team of good sinkers, right? Because right now our sinking core, right? The sinking core is actually just this tree over here. This tree and this ego. <laughs> this ego is hard carrying the entire sinking team. And then of course I believe they added uh, this guy here for sinking. And they for some reason added a Dichi Isang, which is also for sinking, but not good enough. Because sinking deluge is the reason to run sinking, in my opinion. The other two Picot units have their nukes as Envy. Okay, that might be true, but I think that Captain Ishmael will be Envy, Pride, plus one more. Right? I don't really know what the other one is. 100% poise, two pride skills, maybe. It could be, it could be. Because it's a little bit like Shoot This, right? Shoot This introduced to us the. Uh, well, not, not Shoot This. Uh, it was someone else. It was, uh, I think, Quick Quack. Yeah. Quick Quack introduced to us the possibility of being double element. So then Shoot This reinforced that. And so Ahab might be du double element pride as well. Following, uh, following Shoot This, right? And the thing about this pride element thing is that in the real way, there's quite a few pride pierce weak enemies if you if you go and double check. I'm pretty sure there was a few where their resistance to pride was 1.5 or 1.2 and then they also weak to piercing. So Ahab would definitely have a piercing pride move similar to Otis' skill 3 here. So what are the best IDs for RR3? Uh, best RIDs are going to be... Actually, I have a list here. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, let me let me open up this notepad of mine. And then we can go through this. Hold on. Okay, here's the notepad. Alright. So, got a lot of good options. But actually, the meta... Right? The one that I think will absolutely be used and abused is going to be Rupture. Uh... Rupture team. It's going to be uh, W Sung plus um, seven, uh, seven Faust, seven Heath, seven Heath, uh, Talisman player, and the last two is going to be Kong Lu, and the last last one is seven Otis. Yeah. Okay. This is the meta. This is the absolute meta that you could run for specific fights. Because some of those fights, the enemy's whole mechanic is I will resist damage. But Rupture is straight up, I will ignore that you resist damage. So if you want to cut your turns down by a crap ton, the Rupture team is the way to go. Because you can get really low turns with the Rupture team. Really, really low turns. And of course, if you want the uh, comfy clears, let's say. Uh, comfy Unga Bunga clears. Then you would want a fluid sack files, no matter what the ID is. So this one's an exception. Followed by what? Any of the files really. But grippy files, uh, regret files are really good. Ningclair, Sinclair, also really good. Rabbit Heathcliff, there are no exceptions for this one. It's going to be Rabbit Heathcliff all the way. Spice Bush uh, for wave fights in general. And then what else we got? Uh, w Corp Yoshu, obviously. Uh, w Corp Yoshu and Don. And W Corp Don. W Corp Don, honestly, no exceptions either. Uh, no exceptions. Uh, Hong Lu has a billion good ones though. Hong Lu is literally like what? We got Ting Tang. Uh, we got Kong Lu. Kong Lu for bossing, and then Ting Tang for adds or benching, for adds plus benching. And then, yeah, that's... Uh, okay, you can also bring the Dichi Hong Lu if you want to get slashing. Masaults and Gregors, all gone. Like, don't bother with them. Uh, Gregor, only Zuai, I think. I think only Zuai Gregor is okay. Reindeer is going to be your best option. Uh, I think Liu is also viable, I think Mola is also viable, but I think Reindeer is the best option. Best option in my opinion. Uh, for Otis, it's going to be Mola Otis benched with Shootis, um, 
shoot this for ads, I think. It's okay. It's not it's not terrible and it's not too bad. But I mean she has Ebony Stem, right? So you can you can clear out your ads really really easily with the Ebony Stem plus Sun Shower, so it's also really really good. Cook Real Shoot is also quite good, but I don't think it's enough damage to warrant swapping out W Cork Real Shoot, you know. W Salt maybe. Uh, I'm a bit sassy on W Salt, I'm not gonna lie. Can I just Unga Bunga through Rupture Refraction Railway Tree without easy rupture? Yes, you can Unga Bunga. This is the comfy Unga Bunga one. This list here is the comfy Unga Bunga. If you want to optimize, you want to use W Sung 7 Faust, possibly 7 Otis. Yeah, W Sung 7 Faust is definitely very core to this team, yes. I mean, worst case, you just have to run the uh, the non rupture gang already, because at that point, you got nothing else. Rabbit Heath Cleave, Chef Ryushu were incredible in Ahab fights if you have spare slots, yep, I would say so. I like Comfy Unga Bunga. Okay, then do Comfy Unga Bunga. Just take all of these units that you see right here. Pretty much. Then if you want to do the Meta Rupture team for the specific fights, then you can swap out those characters and just swap in these characters here if you have them. So that you can go and speed run some of the fights that will burn quite a lot of your turns. But since it's only 100 turns, right? It's actually super easy to get your sub 150. Sorry, not even sub 150. Sub 100 now. Sub 100, yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is really it. I just don't know how to fight the bosses. Uh, you can either figure it out or just wait for our videos. Huh? Silk Current kills me. I don't know how you die on Silk Current. How do you die on Silk Current? Oh, I guess you miscalculate the Paralyze. When you have Paralyze on yourself and Paralyze on him, it becomes very tricky. But you actually just win him as long as you know how high your move goes. If you know like your quick suppression with 6 speed will go like 20 something and you know his move even though it's paralyzed it will go like 20 something or so then you should be able to roughly win. Ah sure sure. You can also just rewatch this video if you want. You can rewatch anyone's video really. But I will be making a specific video guides for the for the Refraction Railway later. Probably not today though. Maybe I'll wait for like the first three or something like that. Who knows. Alright. <sighs> Sub 100 is trivial, 11 turns per battle is so long. Mm -hmm. It's really a lot of turns <laughs> that they give you. When I saw it, I was like, there's no way, right? And then uh, someone in the Discord actually told me, um, the banner is supposed to be a placeholder banner. So in the patch notes, right, the one, the clear less than 100 is a wrong number. They will not, it will not be 100 or less. But then when the actual railway came out, it's actually 100 or less. So, I'm also a bit confused on why it's so easy. It's 100 turns or less. It's 11 turns per fight. It's actually kind of crazy how uh, easy it is compared to the previous uh, railways. Hope I can finish Rupture Team when Ahab comes. You don't, you don't need to. You don't need to finish your Rupture Team. It's up to you whether you want to finish it. It's actually a lot more... Okay, it's, it's a lot less brain power if you just do the Unga Bunga strats with one fluid sack faust for emergencies where you are running a little bit low or you're about to corrode. Eh? That's the only situation. Yep. Seems a lot easier than the previous railway. Yes, yes. Uh, actually, in the previous railway, I was when I first did it, I didn't realize it was going to take me eight hours plus to clear it. And anyway, this this stream is only this long, right? Because I decided to bash my head against a wall called Ahab for a while. So anyway, uh, yeah, otherwise I would have cleared already by then. Personally, I'm going to aim for the 69 turn for the meme ticket. Yeah, sure. Go for the 69 turn if you want. Uh. I used your guy for previous railway? Okay. Glad it helped. I'll probably be making more of them, lah, but probably not today. This stream is already like six hours, so I'm probably not gonna 
work anymore. <laughs> but we're gonna do it tomorrow in stages. We've settled the first tree, then the second tree, then the last tree. But in the meantime, if you want the actual like raw footage of me clearly, you can go ahead and look at this first. I think surprisingly, right? I think we can actually clear this with a budget team. Give me a second. Uh, let me open up another team comp here. If I was to run railway testing and I were to use a budget team of one borrowed unit and one three star, and then the rest are all two stars or one stars. What would the optimal team comp be to clear this dungeon? Hmm. I think Lock Corp Faust. Do I want Sun Shower? I do not need Sun Shower. I do not need Sun Shower. I need, I need Rabbit. I'm gonna assume every new player has Rabbit or will farm for Rabbit. What would be another good borrowed character to bring along? Can we go full blown envy for spiral? Ah, it works. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna work, but the easier way is to go full rupture if you want. But if you want to go full blown envy for spiral, it will still clear. It will still clear, and you will get your sub hundred because it's honestly just eleven turns only. You have eleven turns per fight, and most of the time you clear in six, so it's really easy to get your sub hundred. Alright, so three star here. Um, okay, assuming the new player does not have Link Claire, so we borrow the Link Claire because I really like Link Claire. And two stars that some character, some people might use are like what? Uh, we can use KK. We can use Hook Office. Hmm. I think there is a worrisome button. What am I going to do if I need to tank the Ahab Ishmael because I don't have enough DPS? I think the hardest fights in this dungeon is 10 and 11. Because 10 and 11, right, if you don't have enough damage, you're actually kind of stuck. I did Envy Poise with a 92. It was rough because middle is unfavored for you as is got Cyprium. Mm. Makes sense. You would use Sank Otis. Would you? Let me check the clashing power on Sank Otis. Okay, yeah, you would definitely use Sang Otis, yes. That coin power is exceptional. Really good coin power, and then you got Declared Duel, which also increases your clashing power, yeah. Very, very solid character. Definitely want to use that if I have it. So I would use Sang Otis if I had one. I'll use Lord Corp Faust, for sure. One, two, three, four. What am I lacking in this team comp? I'm lacking slashing damage? No. I'm lacking piercing damage? No. I mean, yes, in some fights I will be lacking piercing damage. But Sank Otis will settle that. So it's not too bad. So Sank Otis is really, really good for this. What other two stars would people might use? I wonder if Sheesh just still works. You full heal though, so it's not very good. <laughs> Another two star, another two star, another two star. I mean, she association generic two star, not bad. So which fights will I struggle with if I use this team comp? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going with a ruptured team, and it's going okay for now. Did burn in eighty nine turns. You Gregor rolling so low actually got me to consistently pass the other blossom check. Incredible, incredible. Oh yeah, you're right. Seven Ryoshu, of course. How could I forget? Seven Ryoshu, very very good option. Did burn in eighty nine turns. Yeah. Yep. Okay. 
You can kill Starbucks in 1 to 2 turns for 3 or 5. At which point nothing matters anymore. It does matter though. Because you want to try to stagger Ahab if you can. And then after that she'll new Q and then you want to go again for Ahab. Okay, I guess the strat for that one is to sacrifice one of your characters. Yes. I think you sacrifice one character later on. So later on when you get to the uh, Ahab fight, you will need to sacrifice someone. Just choose someone to go and die to Ahab. And then after that, you focus down Ahab so that she cannot assist defense anymore. And then you win the game from there. I think with this team comp, is it enough? Is there enough damage output? Hmm? With something like this. Damage output is really low compared to W Ryoshin. Oh, and I only want to test the 10 and 11 because all the other fights I can guarantee clear. It's guaranteed clear all the way until 10 and 11. Then once you get to 10 and 11, it's just a nightmare. Because when you hit 10 and 11, it's just... Oh, so much pain. Pierce Envy resists. Same with Q Cliff. That's true. If I want to face tank with Q Cliff, I would. Then he'll be able to live. You're right. Q Cliff can actually tank that one. Mm. Q Cliff tanking that. And then after. But then Q Cliff will 100% get staggered from all of the attacks. And he'll probably die because his HP is really low. 157, yeah, that's a DPS's HP. Is there someone that resists Pierce and is a tank? Two times weakness. I need someone that resists Pierce. Resists Pierce specifically. The problem with tanks is that they usually just resist blunt. Of course this guy resists Pierce. Of course he would. Why wouldn't he resist Pierce? Of course Kong Lu is just going to resist Pierce. Actually, you know what? You know what? If I want to clear anything, right? All I need to do is bring this dude over here. Because as long as this guy doesn't die, I will clear. It's just gonna take very long, but I will still clear. So this is gonna be... But he's also an eternal character, right? No, he's a season 2 character, so you can't get him anymore. So you need to borrow him, then you need to farm for a rabbit. Quee Cliff, I... Oh, I don't want to... The problem with using Quee Cliff is that your damage output takes quite a big hit if you take Quee Cliff into your team instead of Rabbit. Because of the burst turns that you're going to try to do afterwards. Quee Cliff's damage output... Hmm... You need Envy Resonance to get some crazy stuff out of him. And besides that, you will do what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 12, 16 damage, inflicting bleed. Then you can always counter, right? To do damage back to them. Oh man, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it to drop this for for that. But yeah, Kui, he is a viable option though, as a resist blunt. And also he resists Pierce, so it's a very very good tank just to eternally tank the Ahabs if you want. Is that you're healed against your will. Uh, that's not really a problem. Yeah, more consistent and more damage at low HP. So you do want to get pounded by the Ahab. Uh, I don't know. I feel like... Okay, if I don't bring Kui... Okay. The thing is, if I bring Kui Cliff here, right? Then what happens after that? Then my team comp is just gonna look something like this. Where it's just not particularly good. DPS wise is what? One tank, plus one bruiser, plus a bunch of other decent clashers, so that I can win clashers and use the egos that I want. Even if stem here, uh, fluid sack here. Is there any good E songs to use? Uh, only Spice Bush. Damn. 
Yeah, and then I can't even do that. Such a pain. Okay, I mean base Sinclair has some pretty decent clashing. It's not it's not terrible. But it's also not great, so I don't like it. Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking that a budget team con could be something like this if you wanted to go full budget. But most of the time people won't be building up their two stars, so they'll be building up their three stars. It is an issue because that means you need to get staggered after every team heal. Break your tank so that no one will cry early and stay sub 50. Okay, so you guys are talking about a situation where you stay at 50% with your quick quack heave cliff the entire fight, which is almost impossible because you reset to zero 100% uh, every time. So there's nothing you can do about that. She Ishmael has the exact same problem, so literally nothing you can do about that. Unless you're willing to burn turns just getting hit later on. And that means that every time you go back to fight, you will need to get staggered again. And that will just straight up uh, make you lose damage again. So it's just really bad. It's just really not efficient, man. If I were to use that. I think the, uh, the character that all new players should farm is Rabbit. Then after that, they can fill these team slots with whatever they want. Okay, let's 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 say like a new player, right? New players will see a three star and they will just say, okay, let's go for the three stars, because usually three stars are better than two stars in a lot of gacha games. So what units would they have by then if they were just pulling random banners? I would say there's a pretty decent chance of getting either of these two ladies here. If we assume that they're just pulling, they just join right now, instead of like a full budget team, then the chances of them getting some of these characters here are actually pretty damn good. Uh, Mola Otis, can they even get it nowadays? They can't, right? Okay, so it's gonna be this one. And for this one, it can be G, it can be Twin, doesn't really matter which one. And for this one, straight up either W or Blade, I think. Yeah, pretty much only these two. I will say that guarantee SS3 star when Ahab will come out, I'm gonna shot her and use guarantee to get Boat Cliff. You can just use it first, and then after that, go and spark for whatever you did not get. Oh, Mola is dispense only now. Okay, good to know. Okay. Our clan, yeah. So, I would expect new players to at least have these two, right? And then whatever other characters they want, it doesn't really matter at that point. What I would need from here, what is the thing that I would desperately need to borrow? Assuming that as a new player, I farm for these two characters here. It is a Kong Lu actually. No joke, it's actually a Kong Lu. Because with the Kong Lu, the Ahab fight becomes so much comfier compared to every other fight. The Ahab fight is the absolute nightmare fight for a lot of new players, I would say, if they do not have Kong Lu. Because Kong Lu straight up resists piercing and can take 1 billion damage and decides to not die. So Kong Lu is definitely someone that a new player will borrow. So definitely you borrow this. And then after that, the rest of them you don't really give a shit. You can just take whatever you want. You can take like what? This, drop this, uh, drop this. You can drop this as well. You can probably drop this. You can probably drop this. Definitely drop this. Uh, seven Otis can be whatever, honestly. The base Otis is pretty good. Gregor, you can just ignore unless you have Zoy. So I think your final team comp, if you were a budget character, is farm hard for this. Farm hard for this. Get this. Uh, borrow this. Use Otis. And then use whatever Faust or Yisang I uh, Ego and ID you have. Because you have access to Sun Shower and you will have access to Fluid Sack. Uh, will a new player have Fluid Sack? Is Fluid Sack cheap compared to all the rest? Uh, okay, whatever healing Ego you have can be Vasalt, can be Rodi. Can be your Ninclair with the uh, Lantern Ninclair. 
And then can be your Isang for such shower. I can't think of any other super important egos to go and prioritize in the real way. Yeah, I can't think of any other super important egos. Pretty much just Sun Shower is one of the most important ones to get if you can. Wait, was Sun Shower season 2? Oh shit. Yeah, it's season 2, so they can't get it anymore. Oh man. So they can't get Sun Shower. That means it's Evenly Stem plus Faust. Okay, but Evenly Stem is not even needed. Yeah, don't worry about it. That. Yeah, so in that case, Yisang can just drop, or uh, we can just drop that. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, and then the six. What would the six be? Six can be seven association. Can be also your, can also replace this with your sync uh, Otis if you have that. The last one. Oh, the last one I don't know. The last one is really whatever you have already. Can you make Kong Lu Envy resist? I think with the Soda Ego you can. Let me double check. I do have Soda. Nope, two times we. Rosier is one times. Effervescent is 0 0.75. You can make him endure. Dimension Shredder is fatal. Yep. So you can use this only. But if you take this, you lose your Dimension Shredder, which is unfortunate. He might actually not be Effervescent Corrosion, Envy, Endure, but that means not Dimension Shred. Yeah, exactly what I said. You can shout Fluid Sack, but that's more farming. Ah. It is indeed more farming. But at the same time, we don't need to farm so much because we bring Hong Lu. Right? The Gloom Sources in our party is going to be Ninclair. It's going to be uh, it's going to be Otis. Who's another good gloom generator? Because if we have gloom generators, we can use K Hong Lu's base ego to fuel SP, and then with the base ego fueling the SP, we will not need fluid sack for that. Then we will need another random healing ego for whoever, whether it be Rodi, Masalt, Faust, or Niclair, so that you can have the maximum comfy time. But I cannot think of any particularly easy to get uh, egos, except like what pursuance, pursuance, lantern. Like you can pull them randomly. Fluid side, I think is also pullable randomly. W Sang really W in gas harpoon phase because he resists pierce and sloth. Hmm, well, that's also a good point. We can use him to tank. I mean, it's fine, right? Like let's see his base resistance to the. To envy. Oops, it's two times. Okay, so he might not actually be a super good tank to tank the A hat, but he is Hong Lu, right? He might take normal damage from Hong Lu from the A hat, right? Because he is uh zero point five times and two times weak, so I think uh, that will just average out to become uh one times. But he is Hong Lu, and he just will not die, so I think that Hong Lu. Might actually be the comfy clearer king. Just cause with him, you can just get hit and you can ignore him. Oh, Fluisa is not in gacha, no BP equals. Uh, I'll have to up. Uh. Does K Hong Lu need up type 4? Wow, it's been so long since I applied him, I actually don't remember. I think you actually don't need to. I think the up is only to make him rupture. Yeah. K Hong Lu at up type 4 will just make him do rupture, sh rupture stuff. So if you just want him for pure tanking, I think Uptai 3 might be the way to go. Hello there. But yeah, I mean, even if he is gonna take one times damage from Ehab, it's just going to be the exact same amount of damage that every other character takes, so... I don't know. I think he's just perfectly fine for tanking. He can just tank, he'll heal up afterwards, and then he'll just not die. <laughs> and he'll just be such a comfortable clear, because all you need to do is make sure uh, Ahab shoots him, so that the aggro goes to him. Yeah, okay, so I think, right, for the budget call, 
farm this, farm this, farm that for an easy time. And then preferably you get fluid sack. If you don't have fluid sack, substitute with another healing ego. Put whatever Faust you can inside just to hold on to the fluid sack because that is really her whole purpose. And a bit of clashing would be nice, so lobotomy corp is what I have. Then for her, you can use base Otis, it's fine, or you can use Sank Otis, it's also fine. Sank Otis is actually really, really good. So yeah, I would put Sank Otis if you can, if not, use regular Otis, it's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, and then the last one will be your seven Ryoshu, for example, or whatever other three star unit you have. You probably have more than like two three stars, right? So. I think people have more than two three stars, so I think they can find something to go and fill into their last slot. <sighs> oh well, this one's for another day, honestly. Today has been an exhausting run, really exhausting run. So I'm probably not going to be doing any guides or any stuff. I'll probably just type it out as a community post, and then people can just go and see if they want to walk through or whatever. Yep. Then I'll just leave this video here for whatever uh, people want to refer. All right, I'm gonna call it here, boys. Gotta go for, gotta go to eat. Thanks for watching. I'll be heading off now. Good luck with your reflection railways.